if you if fifty percent off for a titty. What you call him busting it open on her OnlyFans? But this shit's trash. Who? She's doing classy shit. Who? Amber Rose. I mean, she's a classy broad. I know she's busting it open, classy. Yeah, but yeah. she's still she busting doing it open. classy yeah. shit. <laughs> she's doing, she doing tasteful shit. You can't, you can't tastefully bust she's doing it open. Butt naked, nasty, yeah. tasteful shit. She nah, you can't. <laughs> no possible way. There's no possible way. I call bullshit. Man, listen, oh, I'll show you shit. after the show. And when it's all, I need to see. I need, I need oh, to know what you're talking about. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But anyways, I got it on bootleg. I'm glad because that joint like twenty five dollars in real life. So, would you? It's your boy Moogie, getting money that's more than likely. My name is Vaughn Brown, we're in the cut this podcast, they call me Breeze. And this, and this is, is OTS Podcast, make some noise like noise. Yo, 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 we in this big house. Man, goddamn thing, goddamn. Yeah, Before man. Before we start, off rip, off top, you feel me? I gotta let everybody know, I gotta take a minute. I need a moment of silence for my dog. I lost one of my good friends recently. I took a lot of losses this year if we talk in reality, but this one is a lot different than all the other ones. So I just wanted to take a moment for my boy. You know, you can close your eyes, you can keep your eyes open. I just need a quiet for a couple of seconds for my boy. Rest in peace to King K. For sure, for sure. Oh, Now go ahead, nigga. Go on. No, no, nah, nah, bro. I, was I know, I know how you get. I, I was listening, get, and then I was looking at this at the same time. My bad. Get, All man. respect. R.I.P. to K, man. For real. Yeah, I only man. met him a couple times, but yeah. That's my dog, man. R.I.P. For real. We showed up and showed out for him last. Uh, I mean, not last nothing yesterday. So you know, rest in peace, dog. We got you. We still holding it up down here for you. Dang. But um, right. we got a guest in the building. Mm-hmm. Special guest, you know, special we, guest. A lot lately, like before, we were just having a lot of niggas or whatever. People want to be in a very like when we was before we even got a backdrop type shit. We yeah. were just doing anything, probably. You All know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But not not necessarily because we had some stellars then. But now we're trying to stay on the stellar guest path, and today we have one of those. Yeah. I'm gonna let my co-host introduce. I mean, you don't want to give people your government. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you gonna do leggy? What you gonna yeah, do, yeah, yeah, leggy? Yeah, going we got on? the homie leggy in the building. Yeah, man. what's going on? Thanks for having me. Here, bro. No doubt, no doubt. We appreciate hey, you coming through, brother. Hey, must I say yeah. that I'm thoroughly impressed by the professionalism of. The OTS platform. We Dang, appreciate it. Man. I that's appreciate shocking. that. Shout that's out shocking. to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we done came a long way. <laughs> you should have seen us last year. Nigga, we had this year. Fuck, man. But nah, we in here, baby. We got a special guest, but let's just talk about our week. Um, how, how was your week going, bro? Now nah, we can start with the guests. We can start yeah, with yeah, the guests. Start start how did your why week go? Why don't bro? one of the guests? Talk about the week with y'all. Oh, sure. yeah. So yeah. how was your week today? I start. I started in. That was a nice little. <laughs> one. I like that. Right. Little, but I got it though. You know what I'm saying? Um, this week, because we two weeks away, so we two weeks removed. We ain't do a show last week because you know technical difficulties. But right. mm-hmm. we back and dive and direct, so that don't even matter. But in the time in that frame, I was dealing with a lot. You know, rest in peace to Ock. You feel me? He died. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Rest, rest in peace. peace. My dog. You feel me? Um. It was just a, it was a, it was a trying time because it was like, it was childhood and adulthood. Yeah. You know, I ain't really, I was finally getting over the fact that I lost one of my childhood friends who's a cousin to me. Because all the Sundays we spent at his house, him and my dad hang tough. They get fucked up. We out in Beverly doing whatever, pitching quarters, running the streets, yeah, looking for yeah, girls. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's a group of us. Yeah. It's like seven to 10 of us in that group. So you right. feel me? Like we, we running. Right. So you know what I'm saying? That was cool. I was finally getting over that. Like I'm ready to go back to work. My job gave me time off. Plus, somebody had COVID, wow. so they was, they, that ain't, that ain't why, you know what I'm saying? They oh, get okay, a okay, nigga okay. had, it was, a, it was some outbreak type. It just yeah. yeah, it just happened okay, to go okay. like that. So they yeah. made it seem like it was, but I know what's up, you feel me? Right. And then my, like, I was finally over it, and that night, that morning, matter of fact, I was sitting, I had just, I don't usually come in my room. I came in my room, I sat in the living room. I was looking at my phone, and somebody texted me, it was like, is this real? And I looked, and it was my boy in clouds, and I'm like, you know, I'm moving fast, frantic on the phone, like. Calling somebody, making sure it's a mistake. Yeah. And it wasn't, bitch. And I don't, I'm going to just say, I don't want no grown ass man to ever hear me like how my boy Rail heard me when he said yeah to me on that phone. Yeah. 
And um, mm. I'm just now realizing though, moving forward, I got to get back on my shit for them. Mm. I got to get back on my shit, bro. I don't. I had a very positive outgoing throughout all this bullshit this year. I, you know, me and my girl broke up. You know, what I'm saying, you know, there's a lot of shit that happened this year. Mm. I had a positive outlook finally, and I started dealing with more death. But I can't allow that to. I'm alive. You feel me? Yeah. So I got to make sure that I do shit for them. And then honor them, because I know what they would want me to do. Right. Yeah. So. You know, that's crazy. Um, I remember I had a close cousin of mine named Mo Diggity. Rest in peace, Mo. Right. right. And right. like yeah. um, about like f a good five years ago, maybe, might have been longer than that now, um, I got the call from my sister early in the morning, like three something in the morning. I looked at the phone like, what's she calling me? It got to be something, right? Mm -hmm. And I picked up the phone. She was just crying. So my Mo gone. Oh, gone. So I understand exactly what you mean. It comes to a fork in a row when you lose somebody that was that real to you mm -hmm. and dear to you that you just can't accept any shortcomings after that. Because like, you know that he wanted you to be the best you. 100%. Uh, for sure. 100%. But all that, we're going to get yeah, down. Right, we're going right, right, yeah. to get on the air. I ain't even going to tell y'all about my week. I was going to tell y'all I got some joy ones. <laughs> <laughs> like, I oh, finally you finally got, got, got some, though. I got the joy ones. You finally one. got some. I'm like, 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 I'm Nine yeah. fifty. Yeah. But I finally I stumbled across them Johns at the motherfucking the John at the mall. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that shit called? Defer uh, Mall. The sneaker drawer. Oh, they got the about. yeah, they got like that like the Philly type looking type. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they just happened to just get there and shit. No and way. Was like, yeah. So I got a good I got a good I was about to ask you, was it a good price? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was a real good price on the one seven fifty. Hell no, it wasn't seven fifty. I know that. And you know, know they official because you went to the motherfucking store. Like yeah. they just was bringing them bitches in that joint. They just happened to be there. Yeah. So, um, I'm up. proud of you, man. You gotta yeah. give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, bro. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. I was searching for this shit for like I three months. Right. He loved him. That's his favorite <laughs> sneaker product. Yeah, like all I need, bro. Whenever I get some brand, nigga, I'm getting like 10 pairs and then yeah. I ain't buying no more sneakers. Get some yeah. black vans, some fucking Jordan ones. I, I don't need no more sneakers. Nigga, like, I'm more yeah. of an 11. And they hard. They hard. Yeah, to find. I'm, I'm, 11, I'm, I'm more of six. Hard. Nice patent Ooh. leather sixes. I'm sixes. I got it. Right. it my, my, that's my favorite Jordans of all time. It took my adulthood for me bro. to appreciate sixes. You know what's a good sleeper, though? That's deep. <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> the 16. That's deep. The 16 is a good sleeper. Yo, my 16. 17s is a good sleeper. I know you used to have the whole sleeve that go over the sneak. So maybe I'm saying the wrong thing then. Hold on, wait. You talking about the purple and white Jordans? And they had them in purple, white. Then the first one that came out was black and red. And, and they had the whole leather and they zip sleeve up, right? that go over the... Yeah. yeah, all right, then I'm talking about the 17s. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, like yeah. the um, the space-looking joints. Yeah, them shits yeah like by, then, space by then, those joints that got to that joint. Yeah. I, I was when they first dropped, niggas ain't know about them. Yeah. Yeah. It was with the Wizards. Yeah. I was sleeping on the top on a, until I saw them on somebody's feet. Yeah. It was like a nice outfit, yeah. like, oh, I fuck with them joints. Can you just look at the sneaker, you are like, I don't know about them shits. You got to see them on somebody's feet, like, oh, I can fuck with them joints. You got to put them together. Word up. Yeah. Look at these joints. So, nah, yeah. they're like, they're like, you talking about the joints with like the ankle strap. Yeah. 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 They look like fucking, like somebody was drawing on, they like the dub zero. Oh, no, nah, you talking about the dubs. You talking nah, about the dubs. Nah, not zero. the dub zeros. They Just like, the they got that like drawing on it. Like, oh, uh, nah, I'll show you. We'll, we'll pull I'm them. Talking, yeah, up. we talking about the same joints. I'm talking about these. Yeah, that's a, those Yo, are joints. Those yeah. are my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro. Those yeah, are bro. the joints. Let me show you. Yeah, we ain't talking about the, uh, the dub. No, nigga, not the dub. That ain't what I'm talking about either. Oh, nah, see, I ain't talking about them. You talking about the joint with the I'm ankle joint? They're like low yeah. top with an ankle. Yeah, I'm talking about they're these. Like, they're I had like the these. 20s. I had these going in this sophomore year in high school. I had those yeah. first day. Yeah, you lose school. me at like 12 with Jordan. Niggas was looking at me like, what the and fuck, 13. bro? I had the purple and white boys before they yeah. gave up. Yeah, see, you got it. Uh, but you got to see I remember the purple and white was the things, though. <sighs> The, the shiny crazy. white. I yeah. remember, Boy, I, remember I that stepped era. in that school. Like, yeah, yeah, I remember that era. I remember that era. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But in other news. Yeah, what's going on in other I've news? I've been doing brother? my nasty recons, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Deep, way down in the jungle deep <laughs> of Reddit, you know? Your favorite. And song. I got the Amber Rose OnlyFans <sighs> on bootleg. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Amber <laughs> Bitch, you wait, got enough wait, money. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I ain't mean to call you a bitch. Young lady, you got enough money. Woman. Woman. Yes. You got enough money. Madame, you got enough woman, madame. OnlyFans. 
Bootleg. Bootleg. Yeah. They said wow. Lisa Ray was about to drop. Yo, man, I'm so happy I came here tonight. They said Lisa, if Lisa Ray dropped the OnlyFans. She had a whole advertisement. Yeah, she is dropping it, but she's doing the, the Cardi B style OnlyFans type shit. When you just, I don't mean you ain't I don't Bucky expect naked. Lisa Ray to get Bucky naked. Right. I don't expect that. But she probably show a titty. You never know, man. If you if fifty percent off for a titty, what you call him busting it open on her OnlyFans? But this shit's trash. Who? She's doing classy <laughs> shit. Who? Amber Rose. I mean, she's a classy broad. I know she's busting it open classy. Yeah, but she's still yeah, busting she doing it open. Classy <laughs> shit. <laughs> she's doing, she doing tasteful shit. You can't, you can't tastefully bust she's doing it open. Butt naked, nasty, no. tasteful shit. Nah, you can't. <laughs> no possible way. There's no possible way. I call bullshit. Man, listen, oh, I'll show you shit. after the show. And when it's all, I need to see. I need, I need oh, to know what you're talking about. You know what I'm mean? saying? But anyways, I got on bootleg. I'm glad because that joint like $25 in real life. So would you, Amber Rose or Lisa Ray's, like if they're the same price <laughs> and everything's, the, you can get it on bootleg the same way. Which yeah. one you, you only get one pick though. Which one you pick? I got to see the Lisa Ray one. Yeah. Because <laughs> Lisa Ray could be on that, Ray. should be on that joint play, playing the piano or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's gonna be mad I'm as hell? Talk, I'm talking about if they. I said yeah. if they doing oh, the same. Are they doing the classy yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, she's doing yeah, the, the same classy, classy bus up. Shit. The classy bus open. The same shit. <laughs> I ain't seen Lisa Ray in a minute. Lisa Ray, ain't, I mean, she she still look good, bitch, to this day. Like yeah. fine, like diamond fine. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't lose nothing. Hello. <laughs> she ain't lose nothing. But bitch. either way, that John's and it's vintage. It's, you know when they get a little older, I ain't trying to steal nobody's shit. That's all I mean, shit. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's seasoned. Uh, I like to say, you feel yeah, me? It's like it is vintage. Uh, I'm yeah, still gonna thing. go with Amber Rose. Nah, not me, bro. You got you. You, you got me a uh, beat. You know I do to you okay. I'm playing on one of the breaks. I'm saying we back after technical motherfucking difficulties. Yeah, man, I you think know. the Wi-Fi went out of some shit. I don't hold on. But we here now. We live and direct. You know what I'm saying, me, hold on. We in the building. We all in the building. <laughs> <laughs> the building. <laughs> You know what I'm saying I had to go into my little DMX bit. Get, so what that, was I talking about? Was oh, yeah. that DMX or was that Philly the 2000 something? I don't even know. That was like a <laughs> mixture of both. <laughs> but nah, uh, yeah, Amber Rose, yeah. So yeah, her. Uh, you saying you her saying her joint ain't even like that. But you, but I'm saying. So you said Amber Rose over Lee. That's all I wanted to know. Oh yeah, yeah. From what I've seen right now. See, see. But uh, Amber Rose been showing pussy. Like Lisa Ray never really <laughs> showing. Was never really like getting naked. I you know, feel me? So it's more intriguing to me a little bit. But you seen the titties gonna, in Players Club once or twice, but I say I don't know what she gonna do with it though. What you gonna do with it? Nah, she seemed like that type. <laughs> she seemed like that type. Uh, no, yeah. she ain't, she don't seem like the type to give it to show it to everybody though. She for the bag. She got a bag. Ain't like she broke down and hung. I ain't saying she broke, but she ain't where she. I don't think Lisa Ray is where she deserves to be. Oh yeah, ain't she? No, nah, I think she divorced. She's married her. to a king. Oh, uh, like some dude, like King of the Moon, dude. He was like he had his own. He was a king. He of probably one of was smacking the shit yeah. out of her. I think that's what happened. He was abusive as shit. Word up! But he a fucking I'm a king, king bitch. <laughs> I'm a king. I beats women yeah. and drinks beer. Yeah. Telling you, bro. Yeah, so <laughs> that ain't work out. Word up. So yeah, you know how that go. But on to motherfucking greater things. Okay, what we got going on? What we got going on? That good, good weed is that good, good, yes. good. Give it up. Give yes. it up for Jersey. Give, Give it, it up, up for Jersey. Jersey. Yes. Shout out to New Jersey weed, man, man. I heard that. He been that man did a lot for, for this. That man did a lot for this. Word up. Give him another, we need another round of applause I ain't never meet him before. Oh, me neither. Well, I'm looking to meet him. Me neither. I, I can't wait to meet him. And, and like a man. It's going to be like I met Obama. Word up. Like you did a lot for this so nation. I feel so proud, man. You're not this good nation. Real shit. I just can't wait to go to the liquor store. Then go to the dispensary and call and it get a the Friday. weekend lit. You know get the weekend lit. Right? I mean, no more waiting on the weed, Legally. man. Legally. Killer. Legally. Killer, too. But shit, man. We got the homie in the building, bro. What's up? Right. What's, what's up? What's up, what's up, up man? Yeah, yeah, man. Now I'm happy to be uh, here, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We happy I'm having me a good here, ass man. night with y'all, man. We appreciate you Yo, coming through. The love is so, always love, baby. Yeah, you you go ahead. You go ahead. You, I was gonna say, I was gonna ask you, man. Yeah, you yeah, got new music. I was gonna though, ask man. you, um, oh yeah, about the new music. We'll get into that. But yeah. I was gonna ask you, what made y'all name it OTS? Oh, ha 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 ha! It was off the fuck. It was off the shits podcast. Then Word. Facebook. Word. Yeah, Word. it's 
Shout out to Stevie Yo, Franks, Stevie you know what I'm saying? Stevie Franks on the logo. Stevie shit. Yeah, yeah. Stevie Franks on the logo, you know what I'm saying? Keep it local, yeah. keep it black. But uh <laughs> keep it South Jersey too. Yeah, I'm saying South thing. Jersey. Well, it was off the shits podcast. Then uh Facebook and all the other entities had a problem with us saying shit for some reason. I was shadow banned for a little bit. Really? I'm trying to bounce back from that. Yeah. Don't you hate like, you know, I couldn't run ads on oh, none of my shit. When that shit happened, yeah, man. YouTube, everything. They got a problem with the word shit. So we did OTS. Then it's like it's actually 17. A curse word. It's like fucking it's shit on TV. OTS <laughs> podcast. This is no off the shits podcast. It's that's off the sideline. That's actually off, still a curse word. Yeah, uh, yeah, off the shits. Yeah. But and they say and they say it on TV. You know that shit blows my mind. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like know, that's a curse word. This is wild. You gotta watch. You gotta watch them Facebook. Uh, them Facebook people. Them people. Them police them out there. People. Yeah, I did lurking. Listen, bro, yeah, my shit out there lurking. I couldn't see my shit on my wife's timeline. <laughs> and we married. On Facebook, like it Nigga, says, I married. am one of the co-moderators of OTS, and I barely. <laughs> I, I know that's the only reason I see the shit, and I don't see it as frequently as I should. I'm like, God damn! So we was a little bit shadow banned. Then we start running the OTS, and then it's like a sports podcast, like off the sideline. Okay. But so I had to just go make our shit is officially legally OTS, OTS podcast, podcast with Childo Mookie and, and Breeze. Legally, legally, legally. <laughs> oh, legally, <laughs> but that's long as shit. So ain't nobody saying all that. Yeah. <laughs> like, they'd be like, bro, we heard you was on OTS podcast with Muggy and Breeze. Brought to you by Chill Entertainment LLC. Well, like, but uh, find yeah, a way man. to chop it up, motherfucker. They'll find a way. Yeah, man. They always make it work. You know, yeah, you so know. We out here. All right, listen. Right, we're gonna get into some quick little current events before we get to the real interview portion. Right. Yeah. You don't watch football, so you probably missed this. Do you, no. Are you a f- frequent football watcher? I'm a frequent football watcher. Okay, so. <laughs> so I lose money on this shit every week. My man, right? My man. Ah, uh, what's his name? From the from the Bears. Hold on, I got to really get this nigga name. Who, Nick bro. Foles or who? Nah, you? nah, 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 nah. Hell no, not Nick Foles. Nick Foles would never do no shit like this. Nick Foles is out here doing this motherfucking he, thug thizzle this week. Nah, he did it. Nah, he missed a lot of throws that could have won him that game for real. So I heard it wrong. You heard it wrong. <laughs> yeah, they started calling this nigga a backup quarterback. He bro. is. That's, he's a yeah. career backup. Like, he's not a starter. <laughs> oh, All right, Super so the nigga Bowl, name, man. the nigga name is Javon Wims, right? Right. <laughs> My nigga Javon Wims from the streets. Sure. Let me get the. Uh, oh, let me get the. Uh, let me get the. Oh boy! Because I know you ain't here. Let me get the, the, uh, the TV. A lot of shit. All right, you no. might want to come. Nah, Yo, he was walling. Just I type see. in. Just type in. Javon Wims on on YouTube. Because I need you to see it. It's he not going to be the wilding. same if you don't see it. You know what I'm saying? He was wilding. This nigga. Just go to the videos. Suspension. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. We need to see the. Go. You gotta go like YouTube. Yo, he, he was wilding. I just let you see. it. Yeah, you gotta see it. It won't be the same if we tell the yeah, story yeah. and he ain't see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. It, oh, I think I heard about this. We just found that on our candy. Yeah, the, uh, the key shit, man. And Shout out YouTube and they so bullshit ass commercials. TV <laughs> <laughs> now you got fast forward. This is the play. This is where it really. This is real time right here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You gonna get an instant? Now you go right there. Watch it, watch it, watch it, boom, one time. Oh, shit. Boom, oh, shit. I'm like, yo, what did he have against, boy? What happened? Yo. Like, he was like, yo, I want to fight. I don't give a fuck if you got a helmet on or not. Yo. Yo. That nigga's retarded. That's all I've been saying all week about this shit. I don't want no problems, but I'm going to call you what you call you, bitch. You retarded to punch a nigga with your balled up fist and a helmet on. All the coaches teach you that. Yo, if you want to hit a nigga in the head, smack him. You want to hit him in that chin. The second one probably really fuck my man up. Yeah. But now, bro, it's funny, though, because he hit him with the jaw, like, on his shoulder. So he looked this way, like, what's yeah. that? He turned around and was like... <laughs> that shit probably hurt, though. But like, yeah, I hit him. That shit probably still hurt. I'm telling you. You got to think, them niggas big as shit. You can't be running up on niggas fucking people. All I'm saying is, bro, <laughs> you punch the nigga with his helmet on. Mm. That's a different kind of retarded. And crazy... Crazy me equal retarded to yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? And it's not oh. I shouldn't I shouldn't use that word and I apologize for who I offend and I ain't trying to offend. That's some dumb ass shit. That's yeah. some dumb ass shit yeah. you doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right, what the fuck is you doing? Shit, they say he snatched his chain. They ain't say he he oh, didn't like that. They ain't say he snatched his chain. Bitch. That wasn't like a tap on the shoulder. No, 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 no. 
I don't know what the beef was. We really gotta get. Oh, okay. I wanna, man. I gotta go to this nigga IG real quick, man. Y'all go ahead and talk, yeah, man. I gotta, shit. I gotta dig deeper into this shit because I really wanna know. It I had to be know static. Why he did that. It had to be static, bro. It had to be static. It's no other reason. What are you punching somebody in the face with a helmet on for? Man, you don't know what they be saying down there, man. I'm just asking you. Oh, what am I? You personally. Man, who knows? I got to be in <laughs> Who knows who he said that now? I can't think of nothing right now on my feet. Right. But I'm sure it's something. No, no. But it got to be crazy. Like, if I'm in the NFL getting a check, and I can hit you anyway, like... I could really clean you up yeah, on a block. Like, I got to punch you. Like, with a helmet on. Dude, they got some history. He know him in real life. That's what I was saying. <laughs> like, he, he probably know him in real life. Hey, fellas, like, by the way, man, yeah. I apologize being on my phone. I was uh, sharing this out the correct way. Oh, yeah, nah. Wow. Man, no, no, so no, now we can actually vibe. We can actually vibe. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. 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 so, we all good. Oh, well, while you find out why he did that, if you're still looking, I got to go to It had to be something real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It had to be something real. Like, not in his man's, but like they went to the same high school or something. He was like, I'm tired of this nigga. For 10 years, I'm going to steal this nigga right now. For real. Yeah. Like, he like, broke up some shit. Like, yeah, right nigga, I remember he took your lunch, nigga. Where are you see him, nigga, try to take it down? Where are you nigga, try to take it down? Like, it was some personal shit. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah, he like, took your lunch. Fuck this football. <laughs> right. Fuck right. right. this football. <laughs> he took your lunch, nigga. <laughs> he took your lunch, <laughs> nigga. Fuck this nigga. football. I'm about to run up. <laughs> right. Right you know, now. You ain't gonna take it now, though. You, know, you ain't gonna take it. Play now. done. Play right, done. Right. I'm about to run up right now. Right. But speaking of people getting busted in the head, bro, I saw this shit on a late night and uh-huh. almost pissed myself in real life, bro. Okay. Okay. I don't know why it's so funny. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> he said, I don't check know. it out. Okay. I think I seen it, but I'll, I, when I remember, I remember. She had an exchange of words with the gunman that she now regrets. I said to him, I'm like, that looks kind of like a fake gun. He's like, you want to know how real it is? And so then he just kind of smacked me in the forehead with it. He kind of just smacked me in the forehead. <laughs> but it's like, because I can kind of see. You don't know why it's so funny. It's her face. <laughs> but, bro, and that's how I was laughing. Like, the kids got Yo, up. They came like, I wasn't okay, expecting that shit at all. I'm like, I'm like somebody robbed this joint? Like, what happened? Like, <laughs> he said, is this a real guy? So he just you know, kind of smacked me in the forehead. <laughs> you see how real it is? <laughs> he just smacked me in the forehead. What's your mad? Like, I can see it in my head. Yo, you want to see how real it is? Yeah. <laughs> I really clumped her. Clumped because her. she should have said that tough shit. That's why we can laugh because they don't feel bad. That kind of looks like a fake gun. A word? Clump, bitch. Do it feel like, fake? Can, Yo. It was just funny because like, I could just see that. You can like, see you niggas know. in the hood really coming like that, bitch. I'm going to clump you. You think Yo. it's fake? You think it's fake? Come find out. That bitch oh, got clumped. At least she ain't had no lump on her head. The way I was, la- the way I was laughing was like, Nah, I was not expecting that. Like, bro, I was like, you got to play it again. You got to play it one more bro, time. One more time. One more time, one more time right, for the one time. Because that bitch... Oh, she said... <laughs> 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 I don't think that's a fake gun. And just smack me in the forehead with it. Like it ain't nothing. <laughs> bitch, that's a big deal. She trying to say it like that ain't no thing. I had to go live for this, but... She trying to say it like it ain't no thing, bitch. No, you got clumped. <laughs> that's a big deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at her. She looks like that's a fake gun line, type. Johnny. She now regrets. She, she regrets she regret that shit now. You feel me? She, she don't, she, she don't want to do that shit no more. He's like, you want to know how real it is? And so then he just kind of smacked me in the forehead. <laughs> 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 you want me to get one of those doors for your life, bro? I was going to say, we got this, that drawer for it, too. I All think, right. yo, I think it's, I think her face had a lot to do with it. Yeah, he was tired of her shit, yo, bro. Yo. The dude was tired of her shit anyway. That's what it was. She was already making it hard for him. <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah. he probably had a simple lick on his mind, and she like making it difficult. <laughs> like, and it's like, lady, now I gotta no. clump. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> clump you. Just give me your money. We might as get into some. We might as get into some music, bro. Word, yeah. Word. yeah, I mean, which one you want to play? His job. Where the vibes? Yeah, yeah. I got something for that too. I got something for got that. Got the vibes. Yeah, it's a good vibes. You know what I'm saying. So wait, wait. Y'all about to play my song? Oh, uh, now you gonna play his, his homie song? Okay. Dude, that's like our commercial break All and right. shit. All right, I was about to say, let me let me get some background about this shit. Nah, we gonna get to you. Nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This, this is like the first portion. Now when yeah. we come back from break, yeah, we get into the shit. Hey man, I'm here. Feel me? I'm here. So this one right here. I'm gonna play this one because this one is like special for mad oh, different. Who's this? Oh yeah, it don't matter because you're gonna drop. You gotta drop. Yeah, it works. Yeah. I'm gonna play 
I'm lying. I'm lying. I like dudes. Listen, I love you, Mark, but I ain't playing dudes in my surprise. I'm playing old dog. Old dog is that shit. This nigga played the song. My nigga, if you if you knew him, he was gonna play his music, bitch. Yeah, you gonna yeah. know his music, yeah. and it's good. So you don't get you you don't never really get tired of it. You yeah. feel me? It's just like damn, nigga, you always you listen to anything else. <laughs> it's hard to believe, him, but he did though. <laughs> but so we got old dog from my nigga King K, and here it is, baby. Let me hear this shit. This shit probably about it. yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things are heavy up here. Nah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yo, niggas, Thanks it's hilarious. Through, Y'all funny and shit. We really yeah. appreciate you, bro. Real shit. Yeah. 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 SoundCloud. I fuck with this. It might be no, it is on YouTube because it got a video. I was gonna say because I was gonna drop in the link because it's like mad niggas in the live right now. I push that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it's mad niggas in the live right now. Oh, love this pop shit. that shit, bro. And then on like, what the bro? Oh. Here we go. And they don't like me. Pussy ass niggas won't fight me. <laughs> Came a long way from playing with that go go ice tea. Where you from? He from the Bronx, but he was living out here for for a little minute. This the same bull? Yeah. I like this one. You should put this uh, link in the YouTube. Yeah, no, you gotta send me that, John. Cause people probably watching this shit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I want the uh, this uh. I'm about to send it to you right now. Yeah. Or just drop it in the live. Go on Facebook and drop it in the uh the comments. I got. Then this shit is hard. Hey, that shit hot. This shit on the uh playlist. We got playlists too, bro. Work. Yeah, yeah. Work. So we working on that shit. The Spotify joint. That shit was going crazy overseas and shit. I just released this song on the motherfucker. I put it up on the uh, Spotify and all that. All shit. right, so well, shit. shit. Send that shit to me. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to put one again. I'm gonna try to put one together for next month and shit. I just put it up there last night, so it'll be up there in a couple of days. All right, bet. Cause I'll probably do it like December first, like an end of the year type shit. Yeah. yeah. He had that Max B vibe. Oh, hey, my boy was tough, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P., man. That shit was was hard, man. (laughs) Give it up for the boy K, man. That's the best way to describe that nigga. Different. Yeah, that shit was different, bro. Yeah. But shit, we bike, we, we live bike. in the thing. We live. In we appreciate the thing. everybody in the live right now. Shout out we to fucking everybody with fucking man. with us. <laughs> we fucking with y'all. It's love. It's respect. You know All that. Mm-hmm. Jersey, what up though? Yeah, Philly, you know what, what up saying? though? Charles C. Light. Yeah. The yeah. homie Rizzy, get to it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, man. Appreciate y'all being in the live. <laughs> I'm in the building. Everybody yeah. up in here. Yeah, it's a see? party. Much but, respect. It's a party. But on hotter news, we got some quick hits before we get into some. Get to some interview shit. Okay. Uh, or, or, Oregon decriminalizing drugs. Drugs. 
Drugs. Wait, wait, wait. You mean drugs? Heroin. All the real drugs, like the shit Meth. illegal. Well, and cocaine. It ain't criminalized. Like you, can, they ain't got possession charges. You only get in trouble if you're selling it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, wow. wait and shit. Over there in uh, Good Oregon. Good Oregon. Wow. Yeah, yeah that happened facts. yesterday. But uh, fucking Damn. shout out to Drake. Take Care has officially been on Billboard for 400 weeks. I didn't even give him a round of applause. That's Drake shit. Yeah, that so, <laughs> point, wait, 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 wait. The Take album Take Care? A, Take Care is still on the Billboard. That shit's been officially on the Billboard for 400 weeks. That don't make no motherfucking sense. Hell That's yeah. crazy. That shit's still streaming. That? That's that means crazy. niggas are still streaming a fuck out of Take Care. But it was one of I them, though. I put that shit on. I bought that shit. It is one of them, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it take care of the fucking class. Oh, my God. Underground me, King. And that's, they still play that shit sometimes on the radio. Like. Underground Kings is probably one of my favorite That's my records. shit, bro. They still probably play one Marvin. They did not kill that there. shit, bro. He fucking, bro. You, if you listen to what the fuck that nigga was saying on that record, nigga. bro. Bridge over troubled water, nigga. That's a bar. This off the rip. Yeah. Ice in my muddy water. Bridge over troubled water. Man, that shit been that's, that's, how that's, that's how you started the That's how you started the joke. Rich off a mixtape. Got rich off a mixtape. Nigga. Shout out to Drake, man. Yeah, that was different. And uh, Kanye, 50,000 people. Damn, I'm fucking up. 50,000 people <laughs> voted for Kanye yesterday. Wait. Shout out to Kanye. Was, man. <laughs> nigga, I did not know Kanye was really on the motherfucking ballot yeah, until today. Man. I that's asked my he, sister. I was like, wait a second. Kanye was really on it. I was like, yeah. Yeah, and this is what I said though. I said I'm really proud that the people didn't get distracted by that and they took the vote in that seriously. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, it could have been, it could have fucked up the whole fucking uh, election. It could have, it could have. It does. People could've. done shit like that. No, like yo, uh, five hundred thousand people voted for Kanye. No, like no, yeah. they did those votes, like if, nigga. Like the crazy shit is, if Kanye could have kept his shit together, <laughs> like if he <laughs> wasn't fucking <laughs> tripping, he could be the president. He probably could have really had a good run out this yeah. bitch. Yeah, yeah. Up. fifty thousand people voted for crazy Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so a imagine question if he for wasn't you, bro. Imagine if he was just shit. Kanye. Imagine if he was college dropout you, Kanye. Yeah, yeah. This shit's been on my mind lately, right? Yeah. All right. So is it just me, or when I was growing up as a little kid, they mm -hmm. told me if you ever wanted to be president, then you can never be like arrested, and you had to have like a squeaky yeah. clean record. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. There they was like criteria. To you they didn't mention the part that you you could, you could be white and do all of that shit. <laughs> I, I, I was like, wait a second. I didn't. I was like, wait, wait, wait. We, we, we leave that part, that part out. out. We left that. They left that part <laughs> out. I was like, wait a second, like. How how does how does that work now? Like that that shit don't apply. Anybody could be president. If you're a rich white man, you can literally buy <laughs> buy people and shit. I mean, <laughs> apparently, me, I, I apparently you can like buy I never people really and looked at hide them on your. I thought about this shit the other day. I, I was like, wait a second, because my kids say he was politics like, is be just president. the entertainment industry that get to make real life decisions. Like this is literally the entertainment business. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. And I always been. When you get rid of That's shit deep that, that you could, put it that way, bro. Yeah, they yeah. get to make real life decisions though. Like yeah. they really get to dictate what's going on in the world. Now think about well, not this, the world right? Think about this. Donald Trump, President Trump for four years, he was able to command a whole and take over the whole government, right? And these was people that lifelong, like this is what they did. Yeah, for career their whole politicians. Career politicians mm -hmm. and Congress and shit. Right. And he just bullied all those motherfuckers. That bag could do it. That I sack, said, damn. That, that like in reality, it. he came in like the motherfucker. I'm taking it. This I don't my shit. I want y'all here. Yeah, I would. Get a lie. Get a lie. Get a lie. Get a lie. You plugged yeah. in with Cause the bag. Because when he first started, the Republicans was like pushing back on him yeah. and shit. He was like, man, it's my party. How about y'all get Fuck the you me? He fired mad niggas in his tenure. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Sessions, get the fuck out. He really turned that shit into the apprentice. You're fired. Oh, yeah. I'll run this shit myself. I'm good. He'll really say anything. I'll do a better job about my damn self. He did more for black people than Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> and that's and then he said it was like it's like not stretching it like <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> like only person that kind of did more for black people. Yo, when he said that, that, I was like, yo, like, bro, he dead ass. He was not dead ass. ass. He's not joking. He's, yo, he said He's this two days. Wait, he said this yesterday He's as the joking. election was going on. His like midday speech. He was in like one of the offices. He was counting his votes. Bro. He was like dead ass serious in the camera. I mean, yeah, that's stretching it. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, Abraham Lincoln can't do that much right, for you. Yeah, like, <laughs> but might even be a reason. I got black colleges on that. I, I, so, I, I need <laughs> Trump to lose this election, though, because he can just start a podcast. This podcast <laughs> is going to be lit. I don't know if I can listen to his voice, though. I'd rather watch <laughs> his TV bro, show. That shit's going to be funny, though. I watch his TV show. My sister asked me that shit today. She was like, so what does Donald Trump do from here? 
I was like, what do you Start mean? Go back to being Trump. <laughs> and she was like, nah, I mean, like, all of his businesses, like, closed. Like, what do you, like, what do you do from here? Like, you Bro, was, like, he gonna be mad flagrant on that shit. He ain't the president no more. You like, know how much shit he I always w- gonna talk about, <laughs> right. like, being the president? I would've got away with it if it wasn't for those <laughs> lesbians and black people. <laughs> Can you fucking believe it? Yeah, I, I do. I try to give these guys presidents from now. We're like, you're fucking up. You're told I would have done this so definitely. I give these guys twelve hundred dollars just you don't the way they understand fucking what I would have done. Like, you don't, you don't know what I would have done because you haven't had that kind of money. <laughs> you don't know how to do business. Hey, you're not rich. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> when Biden burns this shit to the ground, don't come crawling back. Yeah, yeah that's exactly <laughs> what he's going to say. That's exactly what he's saying. When you go, really go think about that up. shit, though, bro, it's like one percent of these niggas got money. Oh yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. that's wow. And they yeah, only got that money. fucks me up when you really put thought into it. Bro. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking. They crazy. got so much money, the shit don't really exist in them. They just yeah. get shit. Yeah. Like yeah, for free uh, too. Like how much money is enough? For me, just enough that I ain't got to worry about paying for shit. Yeah, that's why I'm <laughs> thinking like my whole generation, generation yeah, yeah, is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I can and do then whatever I'm good. I want without thinking about it. That's enough money for me. I yeah. could do that with like, like. Four hundred million. Yeah, yeah. I can really? play like generations with that. Like, really, you only need like, like to live like freely. You could live freely like off of like probably like two mil. Just put a mil in the motherfucking bank, and then have it. What, you can run off interest for like yeah. it says like a hundred thousand a year of interest yeah. or some shit, and just yeah. spend that hundred thousand. Like you could live off just spending a hundred thousand and year. owning all do you your think shit. Like a whole family. How much do you think a whole family tree? Can like live off like your whole fucking family is. Good. I mean, the niggas Depends that you want to take live, care of, though, for real, because this niggas on my family tree they ain't getting nothing. <laughs> 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 yeah, he meant that cut. shit there. You're like, nah, <laughs> man, bro. You're not gonna see a fucking. You never, you never pay in full. You're like, you're not gonna see a cent of my money. <laughs> you, that nigga, yeah, I, I, that's your bump ass niggas. niggas that that's how I'm coming. <laughs> you ain't gonna get a fucking cent of my money, nigga. Yo, he meant that shit, bro. Yeah, no. He did that. This half the reason I want to get rich, so I'll make sure you ain't get nothing, nigga. So when we think about immediates, right, you gotta think about like, honestly. Uncles and cousins, and right. So you got it's segments of the money. <laughs> the, the the wife and the kid get the big segment. Your mom, you know, you won't break her off, yeah. but you take care of your house first. Yeah. Mom, break her off. I think I can get everybody right. I think I can get everybody right with a hundred. I really think I can get everybody, everybody because I'm right. not depend. I'm not with a hundred m. Yeah, you can probably do less than that. What you I'm, gotta give I'm not contingent upon what I'm saying is I'm not contingent upon what you do once I bless you. Yeah. I don't give a f- look. I did my job. When the kids get older, if they need me, I got them. But if you don't do the right shit with this, what I'm about to give you, right. ain't no generation wealth. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead. That shit is dead. That shit dead, bro. I'm blessing you. I'm blessing he said that shit is dead, crib, bro. I get a crib and like it's a big ass crib, like six, like a six bedroom John. Whoever can stay there can stay there. The shit paid off. Y'all can stay there. You guys just got. Whoever you maintain. trust in your family that can maintain, maintain. that maintain shit. maintain that dude. shit. The shit paid for. Y'all ain't got to pay for shit. Everybody, any, everybody welcome. Yeah. That's like, after yeah. that, nigga, this shit dead, nigga. <laughs> you got somewhere to lay your head. You ain't going to be homeless. <laughs> Never. Never either. Never He's either. after that. That shit's like, dead, bro. bro. You ain't out on your ass. That shit's dead. <laughs> like, you got somewhere to stay for free. You can rack up bread. Yeah. You know what I mean? say, bro, and give I have me, a nice little spot. Give me, uh, I can feed generations with like 200. I mean, I'm talking about four generations deep. Oh, and, yeah, and yeah, everybody, yeah. And everybody you know good. You do like a little... Like your everybody own, good. Your own family up. welcare program. Give That's what I'm debit, saying. Debit cards. That's what I'm saying. I have like a lifeline. And the reason I'm saying everybody, because I mean everybody. I don't mean yeah. like motherfucking just like my immediate family. Yeah. I'm thinking like, yo. Because you see on the streets that you don't right, never see, but you right. see them on the streets. These like, niggas could always yeah. check in to, yeah. this, to this credit <laughs> line that I give them. Right, mm-hmm. and if they fuck it up and their limit is passed, nigga, that's on no, you. But no. you was born into this shit, right. like that's the system. All right, all right. you hey. generous, so you gonna yeah. give them up like a rack a month? Like, not like. Listen, they can always chip into this shit. You yeah. got a fucking yearly fund of this shit. Oh, every okay. every year, year, your account get replenished with this amount of fucking money. Fuck no, I'm that's not doing that. Y'all got me <laughs> fucked up. Your mom and dad better. You look. I broke your mom and dad yeah. off. Yo, if you, you could give a nigga ten thousand dollars a year, yeah, yeah, if you could give a nigga ten thousand dollars a year, how many people can that really do? I'm not giving that many niggas ten thousand a year. It's, it's a certain amount of niggas I give ten thousand a year. It gotta be if like I, my brother. I, I guess ten thousand times a hundred, that's a million. You might be on to something. I'm not yeah. a math. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't do math well. Nah, I'm saying if I had my math book. <laughs> yeah, if I have my. That's how I'm about right though. 
You do a hundred. A hundred people, that's a lot of family. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's a lot yeah, of motherfuckers, bro. Issue. I ain't feeding a hundred motherfuckers. I got a family that's big. I don't know if I got a hundred motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, I can look in the face. I don't know that's if I a, got a hundred motherfuckers I can look in the face. That's a whole family reunion yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. and shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> word, word. You got yeah. cousins that you've never seen in your life. At a hundred people. Yeah. I've never even seen you before, cuz, but I know you my cousin. <laughs> yeah. You see some nigga like, this nigga done robbed me, this man. Nigga done All right, so let me head. ask you this question. We're going to take head. it to a step further, right? I'm having a good time here with y'all well, niggas, by the way. Yeah, listen. Mm-hmm. Dude, listen. Um, take a person like Diddy. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's people in his family that don't got bread somewhere? Yeah, absolutely. That say, yo, Diddy's my cousin and I don't got Absolutely. Anywhere. That's because fucked they up. Did dumb bro. Shit. Like, yo, listen, no, no, that's, that's why you get a stipend. Up. Nah, it ain't yo, fucked up. No, no, no. It's not fucked up on Diddy's part. Yeah. Oh, I think man. it's fucked up, period. Yeah. Like, yeah. bro, like, yeah. damn, Diddy, up. yo, that was my man. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yo, for real, Diddy's your, your fucking cousin? He'd be like, yeah, bro, I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. So you watch football. <laughs> I would just simply ask him, you watch football. And you seen Zeke this year, right? Zeke doing a lot of fumbling. Right, <laughs> so you probably fumbled that bag, and that's why you Wait, fucked up yeah. out here. And he, I don't feel bad for you. Nigga, show me pictures. Did he did probably got a type of nigga? He went to the party. He had the Christmas party. He had the Christmas party. <laughs> Hold the baby. Hold the baby, bitch. Yeah, like, did it. Yeah. Look, yeah. yo, I'm right here. Boy, I'm right here. Like, you probably hit the end of the If you probably bring the right idea and shit to him, and you yeah. you really working on your shit, yeah. he probably here. Give me some investment. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? that like, shit, that shit, like fuck up. You ain't, <laughs> <laughs> like you ain't like so you like you ain't utilize none of that shit. You just so, fucked it all up. Yeah, you just, you just fucked, fucked it all up. up. But yeah, I'm only helping. I got like probably like 15 niggas. I'm helping. And realistic, Dang. realistically, I yeah. got something that bad. Yeah, because right? there's some people that I ain't giving. No if I get some shit. bread, like, you know what I mean? They can always call me and see yeah. what's up. Like, nah, yeah, I don't know if I got fit in. I'm giving these motherfuckers the I got more, I know what I'm saying. I know I got more to fit in, but everybody gets rations. The rations is different when we get the different tiers. Yeah, I'm not. Like, I got you right. I can, I can fucking. I, I can see myself that I with some shit when like I get that. Some money. <laughs> don't you owe that me? That might sue when I get some money on some Trump shit. <laughs> don't you? I got the best. I got the best <laughs> lawyer. Yeah, Trump is just how he's still been suing motherfuckers. Like, yeah, I, I want all lawyers. that. I got the best lawyer. All that shit. Hell yeah, yeah no, fuck. I'm that. suing. Yo, this nigga that got this nigga that was suing Trump, but for like millions of dollars, but he became the president. <laughs> like he became the president and they can't do shit about it now. <laughs> like you can't sue the president. Yeah, he told him chalk it to the game. <laughs> right. You better chalk that shit like, to the game. Trump owe like five hundred thousand to. <laughs> <laughs> chalk that shit up. Let me hold it's that on the shred. Right. Yeah, he, he Let me hold he that on the shred. You know he ain't taking no loss. Because they bro. said it was like vendors and shit and like people who like was painting like Trump Towers and shit. <laughs> they still like get companies paid. Yo, let me just say them. this, bro. Like listen, I grew up in the nineties, bro. I'm gonna just yeah. say this much, right? There were certain people that I grew up with with images in my head as a like kid through the nineties. Mm-hmm. When it came to like Donald Trump, he was like never like a he's a gangster. Like he's not like an honest man. Like, yeah, you know I mean, like that dude's like take shit over. No, no, like yeah. I always yeah. thought about like him jipping people out of money in Atlantic City and shit like that, building this town, like sure. casinos and shit. <laughs> but he just had bread. Oh, like, yeah. That's nuts to think about. If you watch his documentary, he was running with the mob and shit. He used to get that mob there. He's, a, he's the shit. biggest gangster yeah. I know, like for like, real. Like, yeah. <laughs> he, really, he really like took the country. Yeah, like, he really on that New York shit. Like, bro, I'm like, a boss. You forget Trump really from New York. He Trump really from New York, bro. He really from New York. Like, he really from New York. That's what all the jokes Like, he with all the dumb shit. And he on top up there. Any, so he got to be bread. like the animal motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> bro, he ain't paying you, even if you the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck how much money I got. I'm not paying yeah, for like, it. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> they said that's really how he moved, though. Like, he wasn't paying niggas that was cleaning the fucking offices. You gotta get into <laughs> the office. me. That's how I remember. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yo, I don't remember him ever, like, paying people. Like, shit. bro, like, you mad up. And I'm still not paying him. I don't care. And that's some he, hood nigga shit. Yeah. And then he, and then he, they just sue him and he'll lose the court and then just. File for bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> now he don't got to fail. But he still yeah, got mad God. bread. That's what I was saying. He was <laughs> all right, all right, fuck Trump. We got to talk about the guests, man. We got to get into right, the yeah, guests. We got to get to this shit. Jesus Christ. Cause, yeah, cause, Yo, it's election get, day. My boy won. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Biden won. I ain't mad at nobody. Yeah, man, let's nobody. get into it, man. We but got yeah. the homie Luggy in here. You want to start or you want me to start it? What, what we doing? What we doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? What we doing? You go ahead. You, you kick it off. All bro. right. So I, I've noticed upon my pondering that we will be 
intertwined within the same event doing media coverage, which is uh yeah yeah. My beast man Craig Lynch's uh Beast of the what Beast. What up, Craig? Beast That's on my the beat. Beast on the beat. I thought it was Beast other beats. Yeah. Beat, beat battle. battle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Going down to Trent November 14. If you haven't purchased your tickets, go ahead and do that. You feel yeah. me? And New Jersey and Weed Man's joint. You know we going I mean? and all that means to us is killer. Right, I gotta get up with the killer. weed man. I gotta get with the New Jersey Yo, weed man. Listen. Killer. Shout out to him. Man. But listen. my question, my first question would be, what brought you to media? Um, it was something I always was was doing regardless, right? So, like one of my hustles, I own like a social media marketing business. You know what I mean? And I used to wonder through my music trials. I got to reach out to this site. I got to reach out to this outlet. I got to reach out to this resource to get any type of exposure to separate myself from like the crowd, right? And then it just got to a point. I thought about it. Then one day I'm like, yo, like I'm on that Dame Dash like talk. Like, yeah. so let's talk boss about this shit. Like, that's how sure. my mind frame always switch at some point in time, yeah. right? I'm like, why do I got to even go to a resource? I could just build my own platform. Sure. Like, there's no difference mm -hmm. in me, this motherfucking, building the platform. I was like, what does it take to build, like, a world star? Right. Right? And I got a degree in graphic arts and shit, so I was sitting there, and I'm like, yeah, I could probably just build this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So, oh, yeah, I mean, I sat there, like, you know what I mean? Just, just started, just knocked the website. I was like, oh, shit. I didn't know I could really do that. So, all right, cool. So, now I was like, wait a second. So, what does it take to, like, really, like, own the, the name? Right? So, now I go take that I'm like, oh all right well that was that so the meaning of all i'm telling you this is that a lot of travels through these ventures that i end up getting into mm -hmm. are through test and trial of me just challenging myself i'm like yo what is it there's somebody that could go pay to do that but why don't i just teach myself how to do it 100%. each step away okay 100%. I like that. <clears throat> and you did a lot of uh you've been done a lot of, uh been in the background of a lot of music. Yeah, yeah, for sure, you know for saying? sure. A lot of music situations. You got the uh, Inferno Studios. Inferno, what up, boy? Inferno, uh, what was it like? I got like a management type company too or something like that? Well, Inferno, oh, Inferno is my brother. Okay. Right? Um, Shout, out to the brother. Shout out to Inferno. And real, real thorough, one of the most honest people that I ever met. Yeah. Right? And I was managing my little brother, a uh, kid named Reek Sadiq. Okay. From Philly. All right. Hot. It's right. ridiculously hot. Right. Reef Sadiq, you said it was. Reek. R-E-E-K. -E familiar. Space yeah, I Sadiq. I had him um, when I was running Batcave Studios okay, at okay. the time. And we had got my uh, another friend of mine, Gilly. Okay. We had, excuse me, we had um, did a showcase. Okay. And Reek came up there and he just tore the shit down. Uh, like he, was, he was mad different. So anyway, I was managing him. And we got Inferno to do the video because mm -hmm. Inferno's like the top video dude in yeah, Philly. Most definitely. Shout and out to Inferno, man. we just built a relationship from there mm -hmm. and became like good friends, damn near brothers. Mm -hmm. So when he called me the one day, it was like, yo, like, I'm thinking about building a studio. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. All right. So he know I had the back cave shit. So I go over there and we went from, I mean, literally walking into like an empty space and he's just visioning what he wants. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build something here. I'm gonna build, I'm like, okay. You know what I mean? This shit like a half a basketball court in the middle of North Philly type shit. One of those buildings, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> right next to it was like a model agency. And then it's like a dentist office across the hallway. It's Prime like location. A, it's like, yeah, it's a crazy ass proximity of where you at, mm -hmm. right? And we went from framing it out. I mean, with wood, having people come in there and building the fucking shit. And now we have two studios in the same room, mm -hmm. a projector screen, the fucking a photography is in the same room. The mm -hmm. white wall pulled that down. There's all types of shit going on. He made that shit into like his whole. Shout out for following the video, man. <laughs> yeah, for that nigga is like for real. He's a visionary. Video. I'm like, yo, you you get what the hell you want out of things. Oh, you got up. to. You got yeah. to. Squeeze this shit, bro. We only got one of these shits. You got to squeeze this motherfucker. Yeah, bro. yeah. That's what I'm little realizing. I wasted it. I ain't going to say I wasted because I did some dope shit in my life, but at 30. I ain't really squeeze this motherfucker. It's time to like put a yeah. chokehold on this bitch. Like, yeah, you thirty? Ah. Yeah, you thirty? All right, just I just 30 in I June. just turned thirty three. Yeah. Last like two weeks ago. Right, right. shit different. It's different so you when you're in your thirties, man. I'm not in my thirties. Shit is yet, way different, bro. I'm, I'm here. I'm mm -hmm. here right now yeah. because I'm thirty three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I swear to God, bro. Yeah, I yeah. believe like, it. I believe it. Cause you know when you're young, you ain't you running. You ain't jacking too much. You take right. the shit going. You take the shit going forever. I had to go through everything I went through to be here. Right, right, definitely. 
Speaking of, uh, yeah, so the music scene. You've been running around the music scene for a minute, though. Yeah. So uh, you are an artist. You are a yeah. manager. Yeah. Daddy doing digital platforms. Yeah. Uh, tell me about what you. What did you start out as an artist? Yeah. All right. So yeah. tell me about that. Like. All right. So <clears throat> my music career right here in the journey. Right. Uh-huh. I was like the high school rapper. Okay. You know what I mean. Um, and my crew was a crew of friends named OSR. Okay. Right. Our. Na- <laughs> Our record, our record label name was Oh Shit Records. Oh shit! So that's why it was <laughs> oh, funny. That's why yeah. I was like, "What made y'all think OTS?" So, you know what I mean? I'm thinking right, about right, the shit, right. right? I had already kind of got that, but mm-hmm. I was like, "Let me solidify that, mm-hmm. right?" So um, we was we was just like the neighborhood like rap stars and shit. Mm-hmm. We went to Triton. Okay. Like, this is where oh, so you um South Jersey. I'm literally I'm at the street. Oh this shit! My, this is my shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 Shit, down the highway, boy. Shit, we down the highway with it. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Like, I'm from Lawnside. Okay. And then I went to high school and shit and running me the town over and stuff. Right, we just yeah. happened to move. That's but, like, um, I'm a street. Yeah. I'm a street. <laughs> so, um, yeah, OSR. Mm-hmm. And then when I got to college, I had like the music was just growing mm-hmm. through the journey, right? And I'll hear more and more. Music. Mm-hmm. The reason I'm saying music because it's literally music. I went from writing raps to figuring out how to structure those right to fucking writing songs, and then I started hearing hooks, mm-hmm. and then the hooks started changing into melodies, and then the melodies it was just like it was just growing as I got older and shit. Right. Snowball so effect. right. So um, I ended up doing a song called High School Sweetheart. Okay. And I went back to my school. This is like two years. I was in college. Right. A friend of what mine. What college was you going to? Uh, Rowan. You want Rowan like yeah. Glassboro Rowan? Yeah. I went there for 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> like literally. It's like 20 yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear to God. I, I went straight uh, from high school to college. That was because of my mom. Right. Yeah, I mean, she was like knowing where the kids went and got a college degree. Right. So I made sure I went and did that. Right. But anyway, so I did high school sweetheart back at the uh, school. And a friend of mine, um, he had did like some previous DVD work when DVDs was hot. And yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that time, you had to be there. Right? I'm going through there. all the journey. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, Follow me through this shit, right? You. You. So he had did those videos in a DVD and then used that as his portfolio mm-hmm. to get a job at MTV. Word. Right. Wow. So two years later, I call him up. I'm ready to do like the the song. Right. It's the first time I ever sung on a song, oh, right? Okay. I went from rapping and like this is the first I was embarrassed to play people the song. Right. Everybody was like, nah, nigga, that's it. <laughs> like, for real, right? Are you sure? I did that's this shit in my the one. I did this shit in my mom's bedroom. I did this shit in my mom's bedroom, swear to God. So um I call him up and he comes and I had an investor at the time. I had a studio in Cherry Hill built for me and stuff. And he said he'll come do the video for five thousand hmm. dollars. Right? My investor said, all right, cool, whatever. But he's, he showed up with a fucking staff of eight people. Mm-hmm. And this is in 2009. Business. Bro, so you what? You lit. I'm fucking bubbling Business. right now. I'm yeah. boiling Straight right now, bro. <laughs> like, my shit, like, on some other shit, right? Mm-hmm. And this is the time of MySpace. Me, Gilly, and the dude in Pittsburgh. I didn't know how to pronounce his name at the time. Wiz Khalifa. Word? Or my son. So you got show. a video of Wiz Khalifa? Listen, no, 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 no. We had the top three MySpaces. Like, MySpace oh. used to, they were heavy on music. Oh, okay. And it used to give you a radius that you could fucking zoom in and out of, right? Mm-hmm. I used to go fucking 150 miles type shit. Mm-hmm. It was just me, Gilly, and Wiz Khalifa for like the whole motherfucking New York, Jersey, Philly area. Had oh, the top shit. I remember when I heard Wiz in Oklahoma. I was fucked up behind that. He had that joint. Yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. He was young yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. But anyway, right. Mm-hmm. So, um... Uh, MTV comes and does the video, and we shut the school down. They Damn. gave us fucking permits. I had to go to fucking the borough hall and shit to get permits and shit. When I showed up at my principal's office, with <laughs> the <laughs> permits to go do no, the no, video. No, no, this, this before, right? <laughs> I showed. I was like, yeah, I called him. I was like, hey, hey, how you doing, Mr. Saul? He's like, hey, what's going on, man? Sir, like, what do you, what you got going on? I'm like, I need to shoot a video at the school. And that's before anybody was shooting videos and shit. He was right. like, what you mean? I was like, well, I got signed to a record label. And he was like, really? I'm like, yeah, but I need the school. 
And he was like, well, come up here and have a meeting, me and my homie, yeah. me and Matt, right? Yeah. And I tell you, he'll jump back into the story of moving on. I mean, yeah. um, we go down to the school, get the motherfucking permits. He was like, yo, for real? I'm like, I'm dead ass serious, Mr. Stall, I need the school. So we shot the whole video at the school. They do a pep rally. They shut down fucking football practice for us and shit. Anybody that was in the area that's probably watching this shit, they're knowing what I'm talking right, about, right? Right, right? So the video comes out, and that shit hits fucking YouTube. And it's like a sensation. This shit went like viral before viral type shit, right? That shit has like 100,000 views on uh, YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all from this area. Oh, shit. Right? Maybe it wasn't, wasn't, no, I'm bubbling right now. Then we take the video, we condense it down to a commercial, and we put the commercial in every AMC theater. And this is when Marketing. Avatar came out, right? Damn. Everybody went to the fucking movie to see this dead fucking, Avatar every the movie, yo, right? Everybody was like, up. nah, you got to go see it, bro. Avatar, Avatar went yo. up. That yo, shit went I up. had niggas calling me. It was like, yo, nigga, you on the fucking movie screen. <laughs> 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 right? I'm fucking, you know what I mean? And then that turned into a record deal offer with Diddy. I remember I went to the Super Bowl with him and Ross, and that was when the Saints beat uh, when the Saints beat the Colts. Colts, oh yeah, damn, bro, she so was out here moving the fuck around. Uh, yeah, that's I, why I'm, I, that's I why had to do I'm my goddamn for. research because I ain't know about none of this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Google that leggy high school swear. You're like, oh, oh shit, shit. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Now, we gonna have to play that in the moment. That might be clip. Yeah, yeah, that might, yeah, be, that might be in the clip. You feel we'll me? Like, but um, in right now. What so, I'm saying. Go ahead, go so ahead, I, so basically, so how I got here, right? Um, through that pinnacle mm -hmm. that I had reached, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm at the top of the high. I'm in Miami. I'm mm -hmm. with the fucking top of the music industry and shit, bro. At the Super Bowl, nonetheless. At the Super Bowl, when they sent me that contract, the contract business wise was so fucked up. I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what they want to do. They want to give you a taste. They want to schmooze you. And they want to force feed. They want to spoon feed you. The bullshit. My investor comes to me and he fucking tells. I swear to God, I never forget it. Right, just me and him in the office the one day. He said, "Leg, he said, if you sign this contract, you will be a financial slave." The Puff Daddy Combs <laughs> at the time, yeah. right? He was like, "For the rest of your life." Right, and I was like, "Bro, I don't give a fuck." I was like, "Everybody gets fucked on their first deal." He was, <laughs> right. you know what I mean, and he was naturally, like, "Naturally, he, this way." He says, though, he said, "No, no, I don't think you get it." He said, "Muhammad Johnston yeah. is going to be a financial slave for the rest of his life." When he, he said yeah, that, I was yeah, like, "It ain't leggy no more." <laughs> I was like, "Wait, so you saying <laughs> this ain't the music money? You yeah. saying me? Period, nigga." He was like, "Yes, all my entities. Yes, you as a person, you'll be about to fuck your credit up." <laughs> Crib in your name. Oh, yeah, man, I can't even get a fucking crib. Yeah, oh, like, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> so God. from that, I, it was like just a <laughs> a spiral of like just life because now you're what what we should have done was stop thinking that that was the only end all and yeah, be all, yeah, right? Because yeah. in 2020, the way our brains are like transformed like over the years to just do it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it yourself is like our first nature now. Right, at, right. At, 2020, hell yeah. At this point in time, this was not the first nature. Like nah, we thought that, that we needed, needed these niggas, like, that you look. know what I mean? Yeah. So we, we just didn't follow up after that. It was just like a letdown. Right. right? Like, damn, we got the contract finally and shit was fucked up. Damn, who else? Take a lot of air out the room. Yeah. yeah. Hell and yeah. Business wise, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. And then through time, um, I just got into songwriting right. and production. Mm -hmm. And that would became my specialty. Right. Okay. Right? Writing my fucking people's songs and shit. Right. And then getting placements and it's the best kind of money too. If I ever get in the game, that's the money I want. So I got shit too, though. It ain't <laughs> like I'm just talking. I got shit. I got something cooked up. Wait till I put Hey Barry. Get I got these, something cooked up for get you, these bro. Kill these niggas, man. Yeah, get yeah. these placements, man. Get these placements, that good money. For real. And, and, you got, and you ain't got to worry about being on TMZ and shit. I don't want right. to talk to people. You know me? <laughs> being in a production crowd, that put me in the atmospheres of the studio mm -hmm. life, right? Yeah. So now I'm engineering mm -hmm. and shit, right? So then I find myself... Managing studios and stuff. I'm managing Batcave, and yeah. um, we started out in F at Inferno. I was the first engineer and shit there right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then that transfers over to managing artists. Every part of the motherfucking puzzle that you would do as like in this entertainment, like even to the podcast. Last year, mm -hmm. I made a podcast out of your overdose 
<laughs> website yeah. and shit. My cousin and I was doing it in Tennessee and shit. <laughs> so I know what it is to do this shit, whatever, yeah, right? right? So I can appreciate. That's why I came in here. You got to understand how my, my shit works. Yeah. I came in here. I just did this like two years ago. I was right. like, I like the way y'all did this. Yeah. 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 Thank, <laughs> you, Thank you, bro. Appreciate it was like, a fucking yeah. long process, bro. Yeah. Don't you right let here. go because the change is gone. <laughs> nigga, that's us. Yeah. That's us, nigga. We ain't give up, that, man. Bar, that right there, that bar, that describes OTS right there. <laughs> Don't you let go. Yeah. Because there's been times when I ain't been on shit and this motherfucker <laughs> just show up at my house like, we're doing a fucking podcast today. I don't know fucking what you got to say about it. And then it, vice versa in the same and, shit. Yeah, it just kept me it, chasing it becoming, him down. Yeah, in the mirror. It became a mirror. The thing. most important <laughs> yeah. part of the podcast is the chemistry. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, why yeah. I said this shit to you. I'm like, yo, yeah. y'all got chemistry. Yeah, that works. Yeah, because this has been, this is like, Two years, two, three, three years. Two years of pop, yeah. but it's like 10 years of content. Yeah. You feel me? It's like <laughs> right. that. As right. it should, yeah. But this, As this it should. This is the shit that we don't got on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. glad we didn't put that out. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Well, no checks, no right. bags, no love. <laughs> no. Right. It's not even like an outlandish opinion. You know, sometimes when you just go out there on the opinion, it's like, damn, nigga, you could stop now. <laughs> and then like, it's like that. So, thank God yeah. for that. Yo. But um, yeah. so you said... That was your artist journey. I, I, oh, so so yeah. Let me tell you why I'm here, right? The right, reason right. Why you I'm were here, saying, right? Yeah. yeah, right. Okay, so I live uh, a marriage life in between those fucking times and now, okay. right? Um, divorced, uh, kids, reality, adult life. Man, bro, you like the black bars? Go. <laughs> no, this shit real, bro. I swear to God, bro, when I was running back, Cave, like, I, all right, so I manage TD Bank, I manage Verizon, I fucking do a lot of shit in my so you life. You just a naturally managerial background. Right. Mm. I'm running back, Cave. My niggas can't, like, Craig, Lynch. Yeah. That's my brother. Yeah. He, at the point in time, that was the only studio that we was fucking, like, working out of. Yeah. He can't go to the studio type shit till I get done at Verizon. We leaving at, fuck, I'm leaving Verizon yeah. in a work uniform, going picking this it. nigga up, and we going over there and making it by 11 o'clock, walking past Gilly and Oskino, and then when I got Verizon fucking shit on him, like, hey, what's up, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what's going on, oh, man? Shit. We got to get this shit done. I come right we here. We got to get this shit done, bro. If I got work, I'm coming right here and whatever. Yeah, what the fuck? I got a shirt. Long, bitch, y'all don't see down here. Y'all see my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> <That's what I laughs> mean. Ain't got to worry about all that. He dressed like he going on the zoo. Like real up. shit. Like Matter of fact, bro, he opened up for motherfucking. Um, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, it was Cool G Rap and A Z. And I did his hype man shit in the TD Bank uniform. I literally had a fucking dress shirt on, the fucking keys hanging off my motherfucking belt, green and yeah, shit. Lit. Fucking, Getting we it, killed lit. that shit, bro. Yeah, so it, like, what do I say here? You all say ha, ha, ha. The whole fucking crowd up. going crazy. Yeah, shit. Shout out to AZ for being the Shout out to AZ for being the most underrated rapper in hip hop. Bro, history. bro, that AZ show, Sidebar, was the motherfucking most entertainment show like I had at uh, Voltage. Yeah. Mm. Voltage. Yeah. He That's had that shit. I was off the balcony and shit doing Sugar Hill and shit. That mm -hmm. shit was rocking, bro. Bro, shout out to Voltage, bro. Legendary fucking shows yeah. here, man. Hell yeah. Great times at Voltage. Legendary shows. So I see the. Go ahead. I, you, so you. So you, so oh, okay. So, yeah. so yeah. So I'm here now. So let me tell you what happened. Um, through that process of life, basically, I found myself through the music, right? Because when I got divorced, I went back home, and I just started from the ground up with my mom. My mom was like, first thing is going to be is that prayer rug. I'm Muslim, right? I'm born and raised Muslim, right? So mm -hmm. she like, it's going to start over during that prayer rug. So I started praying. I just started to find myself mm -hmm. again, right? I haven't done music myself in over like. Like four or five, almost like six years. Right. Like real shit is in four to six years. I haven't wrote my own personal music. If I wrote anything, it was for other people. Right. And the reason I haven't done this shit is because I naturally haven't been motivated to do music. Because right. Jay-Z is like my idol. I used to listen to Hove and then like really get motivated to go write some shit that's mm -hmm. like that dope. I mean, I could do that shit. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. And not to say I got a problem with the music because like Travis Scott, Gunna and all them is all I fucking listen to. Right. right? Yeah. But I haven't found, I couldn't resonate with the shit. No, it's not, it's, it's not just fire. not. It's, a, it's great music. It, it's, it's that's my shit, but it yeah. didn't make me go pick up like, I want to do this. Like, them, it's not, like you it's know, not what that mean? shit when you hear yeah. beans on his like, yeah, like coming and it's like, uh, oh my god, oh my god I want to go right. Around. <laughs> oh my god, I really want to go right. Around. <laughs> like, no, and it's real. crazy because like that's why I usually go back to like, and you go, you forget like 
with dope Like, yo, you be like, yo, what the Bro. fuck? I listen to Hove. I like, I really on... listen to this nigga records? <laughs> I was listening. Right. To, I was on Facebook the other day on my memories, and I seen a fucking vodka line. It was like, he was like, he said, I painted a picture. Y'all niggas, we was like, what'd he say? He said, I painted a, paint a picture, picture, picture. You niggas just, just be, be drawn. drawn. Rap artists. Uh, so like, like Da Vinci. Vinci. Leonardo, you want for me the next century? Uh, Few yeah. century. Shout out to Vodka, man. History. Philly what? underground. Used to say vodka was whack. Niggas used nah, to say vodka. I remember no, Vodka was hot. I remember Vodka was, vodka was fucking, hot. He's a Philly legend, bro. Vodka was 100%. Hot. Underground nigga, legend. UGK, bro. The bars, bro. The vodka bars. Philly underground king of Philly, bro. The bars. Vodka was but definitely good. Yeah, I paint a master. That's crazy. When you go through mad time just listening to the music now, the new music now, then you go put on some fucking. Some fucking blueprint. Or yeah. some like, it's like, like, it's inspiring. Like, like, you like, forget, yo. like, yo, he is fucking bodying his shit. Like, yeah. and, and, and like the, what the fuck? Body the, reason, and shit. The, the reason why we forget is because we were so young. So now it's hitting a right, lot different. Right, when you were, yeah. right. That's what I told niggas. Like, when, when, you, hear, what when you hear was saying, Bada like, Bodega, I ain't heard of my cold feeling. Braver do wear my, my ways, ways and pockets full of hope. And he not sat to me awkward. I box laughed him awkward. That shit hit different when you're 25 yeah, and not 12. That soul, nigga. You know what I mean? You when, you got, when you're 27, so 28, more. that shit hit different when you're like 14, you're like, yeah, what 15. What the fuck does this nigga right? right now, our ears is like, we're like immune to trash. Like, you hear some trash shit. Yo, like, this fucked right. me up. This fucked me up. Right. I got to say right. this. I got to say this. I'm not trying to be long-winded. I got to <laughs> say this, right? I went to Triton with all white kids. Right. When I was arguing about hip-hop back in the day, mm -hmm. it was mainly about my dude. Jay-Z at the time, mm -hmm. and they was telling me Eminem, Eminem. was better than him, He's right? not, bro. This, 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 follow me where I'm going with this right. shit, right? I literally put a post up in 2020, a couple months ago, talking about Eminem. I was like, yo, is Eminem in your top 10? I kept on seeing people's statuses, and I'm like coming at him. Right. And it was like, yo, no, he's not in my top 10. I was like... It was the same like white kids. I was like, wait a second. I wanted to be like, wait, hold up. I remember, I remember in fucking high yeah. school, you told me it was the greatest rapper it of all time. It was the renegade time. versus. I promise you, that's what did it. It was the renegade versus, bro. And they would tell me I that shit. He like, yo, he sure I thought he was renegade. killing Hov, but now that I'm grown, it's like you did not kill Hov at all. So let me ask y'all this, right? My cousin I, said, I mean to cut you off. I just want to say this one thing. My cousin yeah. was like, he said, whoever I said growth. I posted on Facebook. Growth is when you realize Hov ain't get killed on renegade. Oh. My cousin was like. Nigga, whoever thought that was a fool from the start. I said, cuz, give me a brick. I was a kid. And oh. All he did was just laugh. All he could do was, I was a child, bro. I was 11 when Blueprint dropped. Right. You feel me? Like, I ain't, yeah. I, that shit. Yeah. But what when I'm growing, well, go ahead. I ain't yeah, mean to cut you. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask y'all this, right? And I ain't trying to be long winded, mm -hmm. but is Eminem in your top 10? Hell no. I mean, he might He might be on the, on the 10th. He might get the 10th spot. Like, maybe. Because Eminem put out some dope ass albums. Bro. Yeah. Okay. But what I say about <laughs> he Eminem, might edge out the tenth spot. What I say about Eminem is he's good let me, at he's a word rhymer. Yeah, together. he's a word rhymer. But let me ask not, you this. Let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Right. Not don't 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 give me the list as your personal mm -hmm. favorite. If we just talk about like, or you know how you, we talk about sports? Yeah, yeah. You gotta like, like bro. You gotta give Jordan, yeah, Kobe, yeah, LeBron. Like, it don't matter like, how yeah. I like. Yeah, this is who yeah, the fuck is the best. It list. is right. Yeah. So look at it like that. Is Eminem in your top ten rappers of all time? Like. You said not from just being my favorite. Not just being your favorite, because niggas' favorites, they was talking about, I got fab. <laughs> I was like, wait. Like, what? I was like, how the fuck? Like, like, what? I was like, we talking about like, what? I was like, that's, all right, so. He, I, like now, I said, in my he'll, favorite, he'll, 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 no, in my favorite, my he might actually be in my top 10 list of favorite rappers of all time. Like, I'm a fab I'm nigga. Gonna, like, like, if you got to be like, with like. Fucking actual. Let's actual. go career wise. Let's yeah, go. You gotta put him in there. Now. Okay. He, he, he okay. Might, but he okay. Might, like maybe though he might be eleven. But he might be. You know what I'm saying? He so be. he might. Like I said, he might edge he out might the tenth spot. Like, he how might. How many years because are we going? You going my lifetime? Careers. careers. I'm talking about careers. Just his career. I'm talking about like it don't matter. We going back to like it don't matter. fucking Rock Kim and them niggas it too. Yeah. No, no, he wasn't out when Rock Kim. I'm just saying his career. I'm talking about hip -hop, talking all time. Hip hop greatest rappers of all time. Period. I'm putting. I don't he even. Might. I'm not from Rock Kim's late. Uh, nah, that ain't my area. I don't, even, yeah, I don't I'm putting yeah, them there. I yeah. I'm putting them in the top ten. If I, I heard if I, it, it's just impact. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, but he might not have been nicer than Cool G. Biggie, Pac, Nas, Hove. 
I, I'm, Eminem's right, right, right there. And then I'm putting like ah, and this uh-uh. is no, 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 uh-uh. no, 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 no. This is not That's in order. Early. This is not in no order. Okay. This is not. Early. This is not in no order, right? I'm just flooding the ten, yeah. right? Uh, you gotta I'm, put Cube in the top. Putting, Cube or Snoop? You I'm gotta put one Wayne, of them. I'm putting Snoop. I'm putting y'all help me. Who the fuck? Rock him. Yeah. That's eight. You are just your biggie. Your Motherfucker, I'm putting you Jada. Just you because gotta put somebody, somebody gotta put Jada. He ain't never been with Wack Birds, bro. He has a great career. If, if you, you gotta Jada, put you Jada, gotta put Styles. 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 Styles is better to me to Jada. Oh, an X. True. <sighs> yeah. How could we? I knew it was somebody. Yeah. I was mean, like, wait, yeah, X. Yeah. So yeah, you got Nas, you got Jay, Biggie. Pac, Biggie, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Rakim. I'm not then putting Eminem before Lil Wayne. No, no, no. There's no, no order. You said no, no order. order. You, no order. you, you got your order. Andre three thousands and your fucking. That's why yeah. I'm saying he might edge out. He might. Yeah. He might yeah. edge out the Tim spot. Like he yeah. might. Yeah, that's what I'm he saying. He might. He, he might shit. be lucky. He yeah, might be lucky. He had a great career. Yeah. Uh, Scarface. Yeah, Scarface. Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Up, up. The who's his group? So the Eminem was making it to like the the common ground. Yeah, top twenty. Top twenty. Okay, okay, I'm good with it. All right, that makes sense. But like, I don't take nothing from him. He can rap his ass off, but it's just like rapper. I feel like he's just like the best at putting fucking words together. The content doesn't like like Lil Wayne. Know how you ever notice that Lil Wayne? He not he never like made a, a concept story. song. <laughs> yeah, he's not like a storyteller or a concept. He has never. I can't like, think of bro, one. He just. I can't think of bars. One. Just, <laughs> just, one liner, yeah. slick, slick flip. One liners, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one liner after one liner. He said some liner. shit the other day. I can't think of one. I was like, yo. And he's still killing fuck? shit because he killed his verse on that Benny the Butcher joint. Yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah, body yeah. shit. He just goes not talking about shit. The slickest lies. He always never was talking about shit. Frying his verse. <laughs> yeah, but body, not really talking about it. Not shit. talking about shit, but really going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> body really and going. That shit, bitch, like he started laughing and shit. It's like Wayne, kind of like the fucking cool Eminem. Yeah, <laughs> he's a, he's I mean, you cool might be on to something. Yeah. You might be on to yeah, something because with that, that Eminem. That's why I won't shit. put it. Eminem, Eminem above, shit, kind of that yeah. extreme yeah. shit, led the way for that generation. Yeah, yeah. 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 That shit like was just the, extreme. Yeah, the And plus, that's like punchline, Jones, because it's like the day you got like the other list with like Lloyd Banks and them. Yeah. Lloyd Banks and them got some shit. That's a, yeah. If we're talking a punchline list, niggas, I say on that punchline yeah. list, y'all gonna look at me like, yeah. you talking about who? But nah, nigga. You just had to uh, be there. You know what? Listen, listen. Let me get let me get back, right? Yeah, let right. We all from right. right. like right. So I had to get that, right? This is why the fucking this episode is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, <laughs> right? Just, we are talking man. about fucking yeah. hip hop. Listen, right? So let me tell you all that mixed in a gumbo pot, how I got here. So I found myself in life and I fucking started to... Find myself through the music. And the reason I say I found myself through the music is I literally found myself through the music. I was like, wait a second, this is me. This is what the fuck I do. Right. Uh, like, that microphone is mine, nigga. Like, this is what the fuck I do. Like, mm-hmm. this is what makes every. All right, so this is what happened. I watched Hove have an interview with Forbes, like, mm-hmm. a couple months ago, right? And he said something. They was worried about his money. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about wealth. And they asked him what true wealth is, and it's not. And this dude's answer fucked me up. Right? I was like, yeah, that's crazy, right? right? He said, true wealth ain't money, and it's not materialistic. He said, me and my wife and our family, we don't live money on a, he said, we don't live life on a money basis. Mm-hmm. He was like, um, true wealth is finding what your God-given talent is. Mm-hmm. And he sure. said, he said, everybody has a, he was like, what everybody doesn't know is that they have a gift from God that makes them great. Mm-hmm. He was like, and your mission in this life is to figure out what that gift that God blessed you with to be great at. Mm-hmm. He said, and then when you find it, you live your life through it. When those last words fucked me up, I was like, wait, what did he say? He said, you live your life through that shit. He said, don't worry about the money. He said, the money's going to come. You're going to make a living off of what, the, what your gift is. That's the whole point. Like mm-hmm. It makes everything complete. He was mm-hmm. like, but you live your life through it. So then when I fucking was like trying to find myself again, and I found music. I was like, wait a second. This is me. This is what I do. I was like, I'm not going to let fucking nobody tell me this is not what you're great at. Don't right. do it anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this shit. And the first thing that I did, though, right? So remember I went and back before high school sweetheart, I was mentioning a group OSR. That was my fucking friends. Mm-hmm. And through that music industry of like 12 to 13 years, move, removed from that shit, this is the most ruthless. It brings out the worst in people. Mm-hmm. I just put it to you like that. Like mm-hmm. the entertainment business, it's such a cutthroat yeah. fucking business, bro. I lost mad friends through fucking just the dumbest of business 
mm-hmm. fallouts and shit. And um, by now, I didn't know who the fuck to trust. Mm-hmm. Because in order to do this shit, I got to have a fucking team. In order to do it correctly, it's too much shit to do with the puzzle. You right. know what I mean? And I'm not going to do it to half-ass do it. Right. Mm-hmm. So I want to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I started back home. I went and got my bull that I started off rapping where he hasn't rapped in over like 10 years. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, you my sharpest motherfucking knife, bro. I got to get you out the drawer. Like, come on, bro. Like, let's do this shit in 2020. It was like, all the shit that we were trying to do with Oh Shit Records back when we was in high school. Mm-hmm. I was like, now is the time to do it. This shit is about brand building. Right. Like, let's just start from nothing. A blank Instagram page. Let's make a fucking logo up and let's just motherfucking be us mm-hmm. and just fucking like that's what people gonna like anyway. Right. And now we've been running shit for like three weeks. It got a fucking like over a thousand followers and mad right. people tuning in on the motherfucking podcast yeah, and yeah, shit. Man, like it's back. just mad love. <laughs> yeah. and the whole area, like yo, those niggas right. is back. Oh, right. he got he went and got his NWA and shit. Yeah. Like oh, <laughs> nigga. And um, the first song that we did, we started working on a fucking album and um. My Nick's my brother and Patron, this is my brother, two white bulls, and that's all I got. That's all I need right so now. So we premiering that joint right now. We got that. Yeah, yeah that, y'all, y'all got that shit. Like, playing right that's now. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Put that yo, down. check it out, yo. This right here, first time hearing it. I know y'all been waiting on that shit. I put a snippet out like two weeks ago and been pumping it up. OSR, no sleep. Fuck with us. Yeah, yeah. OTS, nigga. OTS yeah, yeah, podcast. We yeah. here, baby. Run on no sleep. I got the ball, bad bitch with. Call the girl my baby doll, old bitch hit. Sorry, girl, I missed the call. God damn it, I'm his. Yeah, I'm running like this. My partners be lit again. Bosses are getting them dark to the cinnamon off on the shit again. Woo. They don't really wanna cut my dogs with the sick and then off. Ripping shit in half. Woo. Hit a shit like whoa. They throwing shade at who? You don't rhyme like me. Flip a pie like me. Get the bed like me. Pop tags like me. I know. You wanna die? I know. I know. I'm the guy I know, she's sucking dick, no hands up a finish. She trying to get your pop, it's a vibe I know. Checking my wheel, it's different, the shit peeling, pivot, I just kill the shit, and it's just real, the shit ain't like, whoa. The diamonds get the shine, and the charts get the climb, and I go. So, I be in the cloud with the stars. Niggas be clowns, it's surrounded by frogs. That's around, niggas know who we be, y'all. I just be laid back, playing my part. I just be living my life, major large. I just be up at that, playing my cards. I just be with your bitch, breaking your heart. Nigga, you knew this shit straight from the start, yeah. <laughs> You knew this shit straight from the start. Yeah. You got hate in your heart. Cause you lame and you suck. But I can't give a fuck. Cause my aim is up. I got the game in the cuff. And your dame is my slut. I don't know sleep. Ooh, we. I got the ball, bad bitch with me. Call the girl my baby doll. Old bitch hit me. Sorry, girl, I missed the call. God damn it, I'm his. I'm out of like dances, run on no sleep. Ooh, we, I got the ball, bad bitch with me. Call the girl my baby doll, old bitch hit me. Sorry, girl, I missed the call. God damn it, I'm handsome. Yeah, I'm out of like dances, woo. Parking lot party. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I don't have the whole nah, motherfucking bro. area there. Yeah, shout out to that hoe. I'll give, give you give you your propers, your yeah, propers. Just do Oh, I saw no sleep. Yeah, yeah. My man ain't missing motherfucking beat. Yeah, yeah. You got the homie lucky in the building. This is it. it been around the world and I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Black Forest Gump shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Except yeah, for yeah, yeah. With no jennies. <laughs> Yo, I, that's a, we talk about shit we watched when we was younger. Yeah. Bro, I watched Forrest Gump. All right, everybody gets one. You get Forrest Gump. Everybody, uh, I want y'all to think about it. I want, you, I want to think about it, too. I'm going to let you yeah, get into your spiel yeah. about the Gump. And I want to get into my shit that I watch. I'm going I'm to go. I watched bro. this Forrest Gump shit like a couple weeks ago with my kids. Because I mean, since COVID, I've been giving them the all 90s yeah. black movies. Since they, <laughs> they, they can sit around and pay attention. Now they're at the age and they'll actually they they they'll they actually know what's going on yeah, when they watch this shit. So they want to watch it like they interested in this drum. 
Like I showed them Friday house party, all them jokes. All jokes. the classics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just, fuck with them shit too. They like with they me. watch them shits on their own. But like, <laughs> like y'all like, yo, I watch Yo, Friday that's real again. shit. That's how my yeah. dad and them raised yeah. us. Their classes began. Yeah, I saw Major Payne, all the Johns. Like, I showed Isaac Major Payne. I watched New up. Jack City as a young boy. Oh, Menace to Society. And shit I was sneaking to shit. watch it though. I, could, I wasn't allowed. I was. Sneaking. No, I ain't get to. I ain't go that far. I was going with the funny shit right now. I ain't get to the to boys in the hood and all that shit. Yeah, ain't get to no gay. Only, yeah. They only like 11 yeah. to 7 right yeah. now, so yeah. they ain't, yeah. They ain't so, all the way there yet. Yeah, yeah. so even this yeah. is even like so Friday saying, just hits a little much, but my kid's bad party? as hell. House party, yeah. yeah. Nah, that's a classic. Yeah, they, they got to that, but they but, only um, let them get to the comedies. You would say, Oh, yeah, Forrest Gump. Yeah. This bitch, Jenny. <laughs> this bitch, Jenny, was doing my nigga, did my nigga Forrest dirty. She Look, really did. <laughs> then she gonna come back with this nigga up, bad. He, he up and shit. Yeah. Rich as hell. She gonna come back with AIDS and then die and leave this yeah. nigga with the kid. Like, talking about it's yours. Bitch, when? How? Yeah. Like, bitch, I hit that like seven years ago. Hey, little nigga, you gotta go. <laughs> like, it's nigga Forrest hit the shit. Hey, little nigga. Hey, little nigga. You gotta go, little nigga. You gotta go, little they nigga. They gonna name the little nigga Forrest. Hey. Yo! <laughs> bitch, you about to go live in the forest. You better yeah. go ahead. Hold on, motherfucker. I don't know you. Forrest dirty. I don't know you, little nigga. <laughs> little nigga. Had, he should have had motherfucking If I'm Mario up M's, I'm gonna give you 10 bands. <laughs> go find somebody to call family. Right. I'm good. I don't yeah, know you, young yeah. boy. Your mom was a thotty box. Nah, as far as love, Jenny. <laughs> he did, she, bro. She left him so many times. For whack niggas. Yo, and for he was pummeling these niggas. For whack niggas. Whack yeah. niggas. <laughs> he beat for the shit out of that boy in that parking lot in that Letterman jacket. Bro, you know he, I mean? he beat up a couple niggas. You know what I mean? I, I told niggas Yo, I want to got busy. Up. Like, he yeah. get busy. Yo, like, no words. The country. You think I can't no beat words. you up? No words. I ran across anybody. the country. You think I can't beat you up? He ran across the country. Listen. I can't beat you up. For real. You cannot said, last as long as me standing up. <laughs> you said, cannot stand up as long as me. Far said, you're my girl, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, why you keep doing this, Far? Because you're Fuck my that. girl. <laughs> Fuck uh, that. This nigga, she get it. She made this nigga 30 years to get this nigga some pussy. Yeah. I Yo, wouldn't for hit real. it. I wouldn't hit it. Like, it. For real. I wouldn't hit it. I'm not hitting it. For real, bro. I'm shit's not hitting fucked it. Up, that shit's fucked up, bro. This bitch I see in the streets now that I could have <laughs> fucked as a teen. I'm like, yo, bitch, I don't even want your pussy now. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. They want to give it to you after that. Soggy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Soggy. After they got three bitch, baby dads that's in jail. Wet. That's, yeah. that's a non-bounty paper towel pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit just... Bloop. They won't give you that old fupa Ooh, pussy. Baby. Ooh, I mean, baby. the fupa keeping it warm. I mean, I'm going to hit it, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to like it. I ain't going to smile. It ain't going to be good, motherfucker. Shit. Give me that old fupa that pussy. That old 10 year old pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many <laughs> niggas probably fucked in 10 years? Right. Yo. Yeah, chill, that's chill. how that's how life works. Yeah, yeah that is. <laughs> Still right. bust your back up though, baby. Don't get it fucked up. Well, you said Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> I know damn well oh, shit. I shouldn't have been watching Vampire in Brooklyn oh, shit. <laughs> when I was a kid. My mom used to my mom shit when I when we watched bad movies was turn your head. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your goddamn eyes. <laughs> Cause that's I how be doing the same shit. Word. That's how you don't, you don't feel like getting up and shit. Yeah, don't worry. You're not pausing just, this shit. This yeah. part of the movie. And then she be like, she be like, well, you supposed to fast forward it. Like, nigga, this shit no, on the part of, no. You gotta open up the app. You gotta do all this. By the time it's I do all this, this shit is over. It's a lot going on in the fast forward. But um, nah, man, nah. I should. It's no reason I should have been hearing this nigga talk about the wolf. Oh yeah, and and to the, the, and the power. And he was getting. Be biting the bitch and then killed her and then fucked her. There's a lot going on in Vampire Brooklyn. He <laughs> said, 65, 63. <laughs> he said, we was a little, little boyfriend last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, I shouldn't have been watching that. I had no business watching that Yo, that, that was shit. my brother's yeah, favorite shit, fucking movie. Vampire That's a classic. Brooklyn, That's a cult bro. classic. And it don't get the credit it deserves. Yo, you yeah. know what movie I watched too many damn times in my life? I'm talking about young boy times. <laughs> this is fucked up. It wasn't Baby Boy, was it? <laughs> I seen that too many times and it wasn't on purpose. It just, I just kept seeing that BT. shit. Yo, man, I watched <laughs> Sean Shake Redemption. Oh. Like fucking a million times in my well, life. Well, what was Bull name on Sean? This movie. Andy, Andy Dufresne. Yeah, Andy fought the good fight. G, bro. He just <laughs> fucking slid through shit. 
Yeah, he did. I ain't mad at Andy Dufresne. Definitely did. I, I saw that like a couple times when I was just a young boy. Only thing I remember come on, like, was every Andy fucking Paul. weekend, bro. <laughs> like Channel 17 and shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, well, right, might as well watch it again. That's when TBS. <laughs> what was the Superstation back then? Yeah, TBS. TBS. Yeah, yeah. But bro, Yo, it definitely came on TBS. All <laughs> so the fuck, nigga. Like it definitely did. Only thing I remember about that, Jonas, was like, well, Andy fought the good fight. I ain't never going to jail. I ain't going out like Andy. Andy got out. Andy got out. Nah, I'm talking about they got his ass, though. Yeah. Oh, they got his ass. Morgan, they <laughs> Morgan Freeman narrating the whole fucking movie. Yeah. The whole movie. Andy the whole fought the good fight. <laughs> That's all they <laughs> said. I just like this nigga. They took advantage of Andy. <laughs> <laughs> they got Andy's ass. I'm like, damn, they got Andy's ass. Yeah. I was like 10 years old seeing that shit. Like, I ain't never going to jail. Andy wasn't no bitch. Nah, man. you know what fucked me up when I was a young boy? Fucking y'all, y'all ever seen a lot? Did y'all lock down with Master Fee? Where he fucked him, nigga. Well, my man from um, my <laughs> that man worse from scared straight, Stacey. nigga. Stacy, what is this called? They did Stacy Dirt Lockdown. Lockdown. It was well, a Master P movie, movie, I think. Oh, wow. it was like the one nigga, of the BT um, Who the dark skin nigga that was in it? The swimmer. The nigga off of the wood. Yeah, the ball head nigga. Oh, it was wow. like you fucked up my suit, that nigga. Wow. It was Stacy <laughs> from the wood, and they both of niggas was fucking. Yeah, Stacy from the wood, the tall dark skin. And who was the, the third wood. nigga? Master P, right? No, Master P was in jail already. It was three of them niggas that got locked up. I don't remember the third nigga. It but this was another man. BET John, but yeah. it was like a Master P yeah, type I remember Master P at man. The, the Aryan Brotherhood took yeah. that nigga ass because he was yeah, their selling. They took that nigga ass on that John. <laughs> no, listen. You see that when you like 12, like, nigga? What? <laughs> you see that when you like 12, wait, nigga? You ain't wait. gonna, you gonna be That awesome. was in the movie? What? Yeah, <laughs> they took that nigga ass. <laughs> was it ever? I yeah. remember that and Andy Dufresne, nigga. He said, what? nigga. It took a he long said, time for me to commit some crimes. I went to jail once for two weeks when I was 18. I didn't go back again until I was 30 for a traffic ticket. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't fucking around with no jail. Right. Yo, y'all would, yo, no, 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 no. That was my scary street. I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, God, Andy, yo. man. <laughs> yo. Yeah, that shit's crazy. But yeah, Shaw Shake, fucking uh, Forrest Gump. And, well, you probably could watch Forrest Gump, but that is fucked. You probably shouldn't watch Forrest Gump as a kid, though. It wasn't bad, though. It wasn't a bad movie, but it's bad lessons. <laughs> it's bad ah. life lessons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, for real, bro. That movie yeah. real as shit, yo. Yeah, you should have, yeah. Don't, yo, it's crazy, too. Get away from I, Jenny, bro. I ain't noticed that when I was, uh, <laughs> until I was old, when I watched that shit, that his grandpa was like the leader of the KKK or something. That's how he got his name. Because he, he was like, yeah, they used to dress up like ghosts or something. If you watch the beginning, oh, wow. like my, I gave my name for my great granddaddy. He started the KKK. It was just a little club. He had him and his friends used to dress up like ghosts. Oh, I was like, yo, far as shit. Dumb, you, really, shit. you really dumb as fuck, oh, bro. You really he shit. thought it was a club when they just used to dress up like ghosts. I'm like, wait, this nigga talking about the KKK. Yo, that's wow. the clan, homie. <laughs> Word is bull. You got to watch that shit as a it's grown ass man. It's the clan, homie. I'm gonna watch, yo, I've been saying that for weeks. I said, I really got to get mad high and sit down and watch Forrest Gump again. <laughs> yeah. Because you're going to be seeing shit like, yo, I have to. Fuck? Yo, yo, yeah. Fuck you'll comprehend all on. types of other yeah, shit yeah, that's yeah, going on in the script. I know we've been on a tangent with this movie shit, but last one, last one. Last one. The one joint I had to watch, I had to turn that shit off. Well, my old lady made me turn it off. A fucking color purple. Uh, color purple yeah. is fucked up, my nigga. That's a fucked up movie. I ain't that's know another though. One I, I only seen that when I was like eight or that's something. A fucked that's up another one I want to watch as a grown man. Bro, that shit is fucked up. I ain't know that he sold his daughter. He sold his daughter and was fucking the. Yeah, yeah, Morgan. Danny Glover was on some bullshit in that movie. That nigga was a motherfucking nut, bro. Ashy type shit. Yeah, that nigga was a nut. Only thing I remember from the color purple. Only thing I remember from the color purple. I ain't gonna lie. Is when shit. Nah, nah. I remember that. The the be- the most thing I remember is when that motherfucker she was shaving that motherfucker he grabbed the wrist and was like yeah yeah you cut me I kill you yeah <laughs> yeah I remember that oh, this shit nigga is crazy I remember hey, that bro, shit bro but when you a kid you just be walking. You just be watching, especially be watching if you're no, black. with no recollection you especially just, if you black bro we grew up different <laughs> okay. bro we was just watching shit yeah and don't even know what the yeah. fuck there the bitch said you cut me I kill you <laughs> well, yeah shit you we too hard to to beat me. <laughs> We running long. We off on tangent. Yeah, we having right. a good ass time That's with the homie. OTS in the OTS building. Podcast. That's what's happening. But um, shit. Let's just get into some segments, man. We we'll get yeah. to some segments. Yeah, what we uh, doing? I'll give it to him. Yeah, I get. I get. Yeah. So listen, man. You know, getting to know somebody is getting to know somebody. So I like to ask certain questions that you know gives me a little perspective on the person that I'm interacting with. You know, the time says it, but these things for me also gives it into the mind of the viewers and everybody else, right? Right, right, so, right. You got all the bread. And nigga, when I say all the bread, I mean all the bread. You got money, you can't spend type of money. Right, got, right. But you only got a day to have that kind of money. 
What you gonna do with that time and that money? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go to. It's gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna go to the nigga that Musk that take niggas out of space. Elon. I'm gonna fucking give him a bag. <laughs> like, yo, I want to go to fucking Mars. Okay. Put something on the moon. Okay. Or fucking the moon. On a side note about that shit, I just recently saw it. Elon Musk said that when he go to the, he's building some shit up on Mars, but he said there's no laws up there. He's not <laughs> having any laws up there. Oh, shit. He's he's running the shit, and it ain't gonna be no laws. I'm not going. Yeah, <laughs> crazy white people shitting in. That's a that's a red flag. Like don't take your black ass Yo, up to Mars. Yeah, nigga. that nigga's fucking it's not for bonkers, you, bro. He yeah. really made it to Mars. I mean, he's he's he got the shit in the works, and he's saying like he's not when bringing he none go, of that, bro. You know what they used to tell us about Mars? laws and all that shit. He I'm said that shit lawless. On Mars, bro. Remember what they used to tell us about Mars in school? How you could never get there as soon as you touch yeah. it, the hot planet, you gonna die and shit. Yep. This nigga talking about building civilization. Yeah, that's that what. We gotta stay away from that shit, y'all. <laughs> don't go. He made, people don't he go. make the motherfucking moon sound yeah. like a trip to the motherfucking store. Like going to the Bahamas. Bro, you know, you know, anyway, all that shit, know some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, 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 I would be in motherfucking Mars with some infrared, infrared sixes, sixes, bro. Uh, ain't mad at that. <laughs> yeah, that's but hard. then you got your head- <laughs> that's hard. But then you got your headphones on. I might even ask it backwards, but oh well. You got your headphones on. You got your infrareds on. You out of space. You fucking bouncing off the moon. You know that in gravity. You just fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got one album. Blueprint. Damn, that was quick. That might have been the quickest uh, yeah. one yet. <laughs> yeah, that's yo, it. Yo. I'll go. I'll be fucking. <clears throat> Fucking ain't no love in the city on Mars. <laughs> With infrared on. It. Oh, this city. <laughs> Nigga just jumping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's the love? You know what I mean? I ain't mad at yeah. that. I ain't mad at Facts. that. Facts. I ain't mad at that. Bro. But that was the Facts. rapid fire by Von Brown when it comes to Spock. Give it up, man. Yeah. Give it up. Give it up. Yeah. 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 Then we got a last segment. You know what I'm saying? Well, second to last segment. Rapid fire is dope. What's the next segment? Uh, would you rather? Mm. Would you motherfucking rather? What All right, here we do? go. All right, here we go. Would you rather? Just want to ask you, rather do this, rather do that shit. Yeah. yeah regular shit. Yeah. All right. Would you rather have more money or more time? More money. All right. Would you rather live underwater or live on the moon? Live on the moon. Clearly the moon, because you were yeah. just talking about the infrared joint skis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'd rather visit, visit your grandkids in the future... Or visit your ancestors in the past. Future. All right. Fuck those niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they already gave. They did that shit. All right. And would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? When. When? Why? So I can make the most. All right. Yeah. I'm like, if I know I'm going to die in motherfucking 2030, like, bro, listen. <laughs> this is going to be a hell of a decade. When 29 hit? <laughs> I'm Forget out. about it. I'm turned Forget out, about bro. It. Niggas yeah. gonna be like, yo, why are you bugging, bro? I'm you like, nigga, I'm dying, nigga. nigga. You don't gotta worry about <laughs> shit. You just gotta just go do crazy shit. Like, yeah, ain't no jail that can hold me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not hanging out with Leggy no more. He be wilding, bro. Like, yes, nigga, I'm dying, nigga. I'm like, <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about me wilding <laughs> in three months. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about me wilding in three months. And uh, that was motherfucking. Would you rather? Word, word, you word, usually word. take a little more, more time, but we've been in this bitch for like two hours. I know. Kicking it with the homie Leggy. Yeah, the yeah, vibes yeah. It's the this, vibes of it. The I think this might be our it, longest though. podcast that we did so far. That's a, that's we a good time. We still got a motherfucking stellar segment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The most, the most famous. It's my fucking fuck out of here. Man, fuck out of here. The time you've been waiting is it. fuck <laughs> out of here with Muggie and Bree. Yeah. You goddamn right. Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, first? Who first, 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 bro? I don't know. You want to first? I, I want to say, um, after my last uh, rant of you know my football rant. You know what I'm saying it led me to my. I'm, I might go. I might go like three sports joints in a row, man. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna go lie to you because I'm. I'm my sport life is fucking devastating, mm-hmm. right? It's it's, it's it's heartbreaking. You know. First of all, I'm a cowboy fan, and then I like the Sixers. Ooh. I gotta share a team with the niggas I hate. Mm. Cool. But 
I've been hearing that Daryl Morey is trying to go get James Harden and trade Ben Simmons. I and to that, that, I say, <laughs> fuck out of here. Well, why are you going to yeah. say fuck out of here? Because this that? might be an unpopular opinion. You feel me? I know what James Harden is. <laughs> and you here. know what James Harden is? A loser. No disrespect. <laughs> the nigga is a goat. <laughs> the, nigga, the nigga is a top five NBA player right now. The nigga ain't never won nothing. He went to the Western <laughs> Conference Finals. <laughs> nutted. He went to fucking the, the, the Eastern <laughs> Conference first rounds. Nutted. That nigga be nutted. He ain't been in the Eastern Conference. Excuse me. I didn't mean to say Eastern Conference because he never played in the Eastern Conference. But when he get to the stage, the nigga nut. That shit he did against Golden State <laughs> where they shot 55 three-pointers <laughs> and all they had to do was lay it up <laughs> and it would have won the fucking game. I don't want that on my that team. That shit was crazy. I don't want that on my team. We already had Joel B in game seven against what? Toronto set 17 picks what? in three minutes the for, for the here. Eastern Conference game before they went to the finals. This bitch every minute out on the... Uh, we get the ball. You know what he doing? Setting the pick on the three-point line. Setting the pick on the... Three. You think what? he need James Harden to get in his head? Like, shoot it, B. <laughs> shoot it, B. Shoot it, Joe. Shoot that shit. Nah, nigga... We needed Jimmy Butler, and y'all fucked him over. Fuck that. Fuck out of here to go in to get James Harden. Fuck out of here. I want no fucking James Harden. It's a blast. It's a blast. It's a blast. Damn. It ain't a blessing. My bad. <laughs> Easy on the buttons. This nigga's mad. Damn, I look <laughs> upset. <laughs> That's what look I'm like saying. a tyrant. <laughs> this nigga's mad. This nigga want hit. I can try it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's crazy. That I was just watching Red Tails yesterday. He <laughs> said, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't want All that. right, so my fuck out of here is to the motherfucking eight year rule that presidents can't come back and be presidents after they was presidents for eight years. Because mm. I saw this motherfucking video of the homie Barrio. Oh, the no video of the homie home. Barrio. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen this shit. Look like, come on, left, bro. Left. This is what a man oh, right now. Yeah, walked out, looked at these niggas like, what's up? Swaggy. In a fucking oh, COVID mask. In a COVID mask. That's man. what I do. <laughs> Swaggy. <laughs> Swaggy. We America needs you, Barry. One more time. One more time. One more America time. needs Barry O. How you supposed to step forward and jump? He said, "That's what I do." <laughs> That's what I do. Like this is what America needs right now. We don't need no sweaty ass. And I hate when niggas be trying to come for Barrio as black man. Like, what he do for black people? He was black president. Nigga. That's yeah, what he did. Yeah. That's what he did. Yeah, that's it. Nigga. That's, that's all he had, had to do. do. Have you heard of it, nigga? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, so fuck out of here to that dumbass <laughs> rule saying you can't be president again. This <laughs> sweaty ass nigga on Mad Adderall and shit about to motherfucking. Hold up the fucking presidency. And you know, the, the kids, <laughs> the kids that used to rub my feet, I had, I blo I had long blonde hairs on my legs. And, 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 and they used to touch them. It's just like that what shit, What the bro. fuck <laughs> are you talking about, Joe B? I saw Joe earlier, because they were talking about Joe Biden's already at the crossroads and shit. This bitch was like, the kids. I, I, y'all, I know y'all seen that video before. He looked so baffled. He was like, and, and, and I had blonde hair on my legs. And he used to touch it. It needs to be water. Like, yo, what the fuck is this dude <laughs> Like, bro, about, this nigga on his deathbed. Like, the, the best analogy I heard, yeah, it is. Uh, the best analogy I heard for why this is just wrong for having these old ass niggas as presidents, no matter which one you like, is like, if you were starting a business, would you have your fucking 75 year old grandpa, grandpa be in charge? <laughs> Like, you about to start, you, you pop pop. start your studio. We got this merch, Pop-Pop. You got your 76-year-old Pop-Pop. You like, just had this nigga just running the whole shit, yeah. like, hauling the shots. Like, shit so why the fuck sense. we got these old ass niggas running the country? Shit yeah. don't even make sense. But yeah, man. So just, We're going to have to have you here. back because... Um, Yo, yeah, man, this was a interview. good ass time, man. Yeah, we didn't even get an interview. We was here kicking it. We was just catching vibes, man. Yeah, this was yeah. a this good shit ass is off time. The rail. Yo. We had yeah. a fucking HR and they be in the background <laughs> going crazy. Like, get to the fucking question. Ask him, God damn it. Ask him, what the fuck? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? This shit isn't going to get no views. <laughs> this shit is motherfuckers are naming rappers. None of this. Like, nobody cares head. but your fucking <laughs> favorite rapper. <laughs> You're like, oh, damn, oh, big fucking woo. <laughs> That's <laughs> the fucking question. <laughs> this shit is off the fucking yeah, rails, yeah, bro. No, yo, no, I definitely no. had a good yeah, time yeah, up here, yo. Yo, two boys going somewhere with this shit. We're going to do a real. Yo, yeah, I'll come through anytime y'all need me, man. Yo, listen, y'all two going to go somewhere, yo. OTS. OTS got a official Lakey co-sign, yo. This shit tough. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. Shout out. Uh, you overdose, right? You're overdose. Yeah, yeah. You're, overdose. Yeah. you're overdose. Not you. Please. Not you. You're overdose. Shout out to them. That media coverage, that site is very stellar. And, yeah, yeah. Before we get, very stellar. Before we get you out of, get out of here, bro. Yo. Um, you, uh, anything you want the people to know or... 
They think you're promoting. We are. Yeah, you got the go, project and shit coming, right? Yeah, go go follow OSR at OSR underscore 856. We building it up right now from the ground up. So, yeah, I need all those followers. and um, Make sure you go do that. Yeah. And um, just be uh, on the lookout. Y'all, y'all going to see us. Yeah, man. And make sure you catch us November 14th. New Jersey Weed Man's joint. Yo, Peace that's just going to be tough. Beat we battle. all going to be in the Everyone building on the same shit. Everybody's going to be in the yeah. building. Yeah, tripping. Yeah. Yeah. Tripping around and be the table. What? Right. Yeah, I'm bringing right. the table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. on deck. Right. On deck. We're going to be at that joint tripping the fuck out. It's going to be a crazy ass beat battle. Motherfucking, we got everybody in the building. Stevie Franks, Lil Psycho, Craig Lynch. New Jersey weed, man. Shout out to all those brothers. No overdose. That shit gonna be bonkers. That shit gonna be a fucking movie, man. And we yeah. gonna be there with we, this. Yeah. So, on CNN tonight. Oh, we got another <laughs> TS podcast. How do you guys do right, things? Right. How, how do you guys think you did on that vibe? You know what I mean? That's I said. I gotta get one of these mics so I can hit niggas with the ha-ha-ha. Yeah. We should go get some mics. We should yeah, go get yeah. some fucking... We should yeah. go get some well, mics. Most definitely, bro. Bro, this shit's been a funny-ass episode, man. This yeah, shit's yeah. gone crazy. Yeah, this is gonna be funny. Wow. And but like, I listen back on this, I'm gonna laugh a lot. We about to sure. get into this uh, one chip challenge. Oh, we doing it on... Oh, I'm about to say that. No, not on the show. We're about to get off the show, but that's just gonna be extra content. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pocky. One chip challenge. I'm going to do it. I mean, yeah. I'm on my Shaq shit. Shaq said I ain't going to make a move. Yeah, so. But yo, shout out to the homie for coming through. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Check him out. See, let the people know what you said. Follow OS, um, yeah. OSR underscore 856. But where can they find you personally? What you what you got going on yourself? Uh, follow, I know you want to push the people. You know you got to push fo- the people. Follow me at OSR Leggy and um, at youroverdose.com. Yeah. And uh, I am my business, so all that shit all wrapped into one. We about to get this shit popping. Twenty twenty one, niggas, what's up? We're coming for it because yeah. we, we back. It, it we feels great. It. Life is, is good. Off the shit's podcast, man. We out this OTS. OTS. Like Nordic. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we ain't even talk about that.